Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Joseph Rothschild, aka MBT. And wow, what a morning it is. We have so much to do today. We've got Jank Bank. We've got the Twitter thread. We maybe have Doug roulette. Doug uh, Doug did send me a text. He just got back from vacation and he said he was feeling kind of weird last night. I think we're going to do roulette, but you know, who knows? You know, maybe. And then, um, uh, I also might be doing a 3v3 with Farfa, Josh, me, Nesh, Pack, and Sam. Uh, but that's going to depend on a couple of things, including Farfa, uh, because he has not responded to this thread. So I don't know. In fact, let me, uh, let me get Farfa in this call. Let me, let me call Farfa right now. Got a Guido. Hold my D20. Thank you for the prime. Rain. Thank you for the prime. Bull breaker armor. All right. Uh, are you sure that's enough to stop this? Whatever that is. All right. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, MBT call incoming. All right. What is this? Does, does this guy have a problem? Yeah. All right. Here what we is go. this guy's problem? Go. Oh. Okay. What oh, okay. is this? What is this stupid, idiotic bread list? All right, buddy. Tell me what your thoughts are. All right. So, chat, if, if, you, if you are unfamiliar, Farfa has spent the morning, I guess, devising a ban list, right? That, like, fixes Yu-Gi-Oh! or something. And the way he's done it is by banning everything better than Dante. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm going to be honest with you. I know that everyone is like, oh, why is all this crap on here? I challenge you, chat, to find a single card that if removed from the game forever would not drastically improve it. Like, exactly. That's like, the whole Oh point. my God, we're banning Mechanical Hound? Yeah, have you read Mechanical Hound? Like, <laughs> a scenario where that card hits the board is not going to be good. I do want to ask about some cards that are not Floodgates. Uh, What's Circular doing on here, buddy? Okay, all right. So here's the thing, right? If yeah. we hit too many good decks, uh -huh. uh, then eventually these, like, the sort of rogue periphery kind of decks, they become, like, absurd, right? Yeah. So if we ban Circular, which is, like, you have to admit, that card is a custom card. Yeah, no, right? that card's crazy, of course. Exactly, right? So now, Mathmech can go back to its old-school win condition of Sugbot FTK or OTK, no. right? Well, the problem is that that is not a win kid. That's a condition, but it doesn't win very often. <laughs> I, Don't you think can... Circular is just too good? It's like a one card full combo of like two, two or three disruptions at a negate. Like, come yeah, on. but that's all the deck does. I, I feel like they can have a circular, one circular, one mining. Yeah. Then they have to play mm. like four extenders to get Alan Burshan, and their Alan Burshan search has to be circular. Like then, Ash matters. Okay. Come all on. right, all right. I'll uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll take it. All right, let's put circular to one. All right. Um. Secondly, uh, um, I'm I'm confused as to. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's get a let's get, we'll get we'll do a whole debate here while we're waiting on the balance. Josh wants in. Oh, he's oh Josh is gonna come in here and say that circular is not okay. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring him in. Bring him in. <laughs> All right, hey. All right, Josh, tell him why he's wrong about circular. Bro, can't I just can't I just tilt on Master Duel and just end stream in peace? Why do I why do I send my people here and then hear things like this? <laughs> what <if it> is <laughs> circular's well, what is biggest hater? What is your problem with this card? It's you know it's okay. How is it okay? Because <laughs> there's because there's not another good card in the entire deck. They gave in one good card. Josh, ever. to be fair, I banned update jammer and access code. Like, what, what do you fuck, want the deck dude? to do? What do you want this deck to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do. You don't want this deck to do anything. That's the That's thing. The... No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Super factorial's cool. Cybers, the type should have never been printed. They should have made Salamangrate pyro monsters. Oh and wow! Just delete the cybers type. It doesn't add wow. anything. All right, do you have anything else here that you see, like, that's actually drastically wrong, Josh? Uh, scroll a bit. 
What's um? Uh, you can see the full thing easier on Twitter, I think. What's oh, okay. new so Albi or what's the new Albaz fusion doing on here? Uh, apparently it's just like the same bullshit with expulsion. Why? It's just, just expulsion as a monster. You're already banning dog shit like Mechanical Hound. Why don't you just ban all the expulsion targets? Uh, it comes to a point where it's like. I have to like sieve through like 70 cards that are all good to be sent from the deck to the graveyard that you end up with like 20 cards. You know what I mean? It's just like, just hit expulsion. All right, where do like, I go to see this? Oh, here. Uh, Twitter. That's my Twitter it. post. Like, think about it, right? Why not just hit Foolish Burial instead of every single target in the game? <laughs> well, you didn't hit Foolish Burial. True, yes. But you you gotta hit the... Xien Spy next. <laughs> do, you, do you think so? Okay, okay, no, I'm done. No, that card don't, don't has actually never done anything don't fair. Fucking, you're gonna ban creature swap. Come on, don't do that shit. No, 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 no. Creature swap's different because you can't use it turn one. Sort of. Oh, I guess that's true. Bro, in Can this banned section, there's not a single card that's fun. Yeah, no. Exactly! We're, we're trying to figure out if there's anything in the band that is fun. Except for maybe IP. I don't know what IP is doing here. Okay, wait, all right. And we're getting everyone field. in here. One sec. Oh, good. There's more uh, dumb assholes yeah, here. Yeah, Tell this, me this, uh, Cybers this, is too good. This this coder guy also wants oh, to uh, God. explain why, un probably tells why Unchained is the best deck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I will not take any Unchained slander while I'm here, okay? I'm just here to say that I don't understand this 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 Cybers hate, bro. Cybers is so fucking Thank cool. you, Coder. I agree. I don't understand. I don't get it, okay? I do not get it. But, okay, so I genuinely think, okay, and here's my opinion on Circular, because I heard y'all talking about Circular, and I had, to, I had to put in my two cents here. I think that Circular is completely fine... Even at three, if there's no update or access, because realistically, its restriction then matters. You know what I mean? Do you know how broken, right. like, the first turn setup is of, of Circular? Objectively incorrect opinion. What, what do you mean broken? It sets up, like, a Trishula and a Negate, bro. Like, yeah, with one card, backed up and with hand traps, and with follow up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you banned every hand trap in the game, didn't you? No. No, no, there's no hand but trap. I, I heard here. you. I heard you arguing that you were banning Ash, so like... <laughs> I was thinking about one Ash? one card making Trishula negate draw two cards? How is that fine? Because there's no other good cards in the deck! Wait, how does it draw two cards? What wait, What am I missing Heat Soul. Here? Oh, I mean, you don't you don't make... I'm sorry, you do not make Heat Soul plus, uh, out, like, the, 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 the Laplacian with the negate off of just Circular. That's wait, yes, that you do. Hold up. You totally do. Wait, what? what? Yeah. Wait, yeah. no? What? How? Laplacian huh? with diameter? <laughs> well, Wait, am I, am I, am I, if you, you spend your if you spend your normal on diameter, it's just Alan Bershin diameter, the diameter target, that's three, right? But this is not just one card. I'm saying if you have exactly only circular in your hand, you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem, dude. That's like the whole deck. <laughs> oh, okay. Circular's a little busted. I don't remember it is. What the oh fuck? Oh my okay. god. To be fair, dude. to be fair, I'm chiming yeah, in with having played the TCG. I have not I have not played the TCG in eight months for reasons we will not discuss here, okay? Uh, Wait, why have you not played for so long? Uh, I'm banned! What the fuck? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> You've missed out. Circular's been really good that whole time. It's the best deck. Oh, that's crazy. I love that. Well, you know, I have a full math mech core, and I'm going to an unsanctioned locals in like 10 days. Whoa. Should I build math mech? Is that what's going Whoa. on? No. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Math, on. Math mech is, no. Despite... I said unsanctioned! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Despite the haters, math mech is like the sixth best deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not always about how good something is. It's always how 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 fun it is. Like skill drain's not a good card right now. Like no one plays sure. skill drain, but that card's not fun. Yeah, I agree. True. But I just True. I just think circular is fun and skill drain is. <laughs> that Do we have any uh, any more of feedback here? Because I'm I'm down to like you know yeah, yeah, since yeah. What's, um, what's, I cannot what's use this for anything. For? I don't know. It's just a generic send for cost That's level infinity, three. Infinity infinity just, like, turbo, there's right? probably something that it does. Yeah, right? Like, uh, basically, like, the whole idea is anything that interacts with the main deck generically is probably just ban-worthy. Uh, I, um... You think I, Savage gonna, is I'm too a... good? Borrow Lord Savage Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, that card's a little You, you don't want to yeah, give, them, I think you don't give so, like, decks one extra deck negate guy? I don't think so. Okay. I'm just checking. I don't know. I, I, I feel like the big thing here that I think Farfa went for that I really agree with is I like the idea that there's no like 
super generic boss monsters that every single deck ends on. Wait, in, in my on. opinion, I think that's like kind of boring. I, I agree with two that. Two massive questions. Uh, one spheres, where that's where we're drawing the line. Spheres. Uh, that's spheres is fine. <laughs> uh, and second is Almirage. Okay, it's a link one for anything up under a thousand that triggers a grave effect immediately and gives Link you a one zone. should have never been printed. Yeah, whoa, exactly. Whoa, 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 relax. relax. Like a, <laughs> what is it with you and Cybers, dude? Like, why do you Bro, like? I love, so much? I love synchro summoning without having to do math. Okay, <laughs> but like, what? What are you doing with Almer? Are you are you just like oh I want to be able to print monsters that have a thousand attack and a grave effect? In the I mean future? I'm kind of trying to like foolproof as well. You know it's like I'm not trying to like think too hard about it, but conceptually yeah. doesn't that just seem like a ridiculous like interaction? I guess. I, it is kind of bullshit that like a normal summon of an a thousand attack monster can like theoretically like be Sangan and then like the Sangan. Oh Sangan, full hack of fiber. And then you can why add was it something not? and then like the you Hulk can overlay for list, Dante though. and like wait why isn't Tour Guide hmm. on here? Why is it Tour Guide on here? Because Farfa thing, would right? never ban Tour Guide. <laughs> <Come Okay. on. laughs> I don't know about Tour Guide. I feel like Tour Guide is such a. Well, <laughs> okay, okay. Tour Guide's fine. <laughs> okay, like, so what do you think about the back roll idea, like that we went in with here, right? Well, what's so that? basically, removing all mass back row removal because why do you need mass back row if there's no floodgates? I've been saying that since day one. Uh, I've been what, saying that. What mass back row did you move? It's, it's Storm Duster. What is Duster uh, Band on? Lightning Storm. Uh, oh, I need to reband yeah, Duster, Duster actually. Here, yeah. You also have Heavy Storm Band too. Yeah. Yo, this is everything. Yeah. This is the whole list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, are there any floodgates we're missing, chat? I know there's like some like like poisonous winds type shit. That like, yeah, like ask. technically there's like a ton of floodgates. Left, you should you should put Toll like... on here. I think Toll is a little too broken. <laughs> and that symbol, dude. We didn't need that symbol. The what symbol? The Continuous infinity trap. symbol. Put it on yeah. there. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just everything with that. Basically. Every continuous like, trap card. List is also is so much shorter if you just put uh, like first row is the infinity symbol, second row is the cyber's type. <laughs> wow! Wow! Come on. Come on. Okay, I can still yeah, play Kevin. Chain Kevin, 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 didn't you like do like what uh, did Marin uh, says a do database you, search dog. and you found that like what ninety percent of cyber's monsters all float or special summon? <laughs> Uh, no, I was literally, so when they announced the new illusionist type, I literally was like, so they can do one of two things with this. They can either make it unplayable trash, or they will give it the cybers treatment, which was that literally like 90% of cybers monsters are all just like a free special summon. Like literally like 90% of cybers monsters either say if yeah. X special summon, or if you control a cybers special summon. That's, that's their, uh, that's their identity. That's their thematic identity. <laughs> yeah, but like the cool genuine, identity, the, the big say. idea, the big idea why they did that specifically is because early on they, I, I feel like they didn't test like links at all. And they were just like, yeah. okay, so cybers <laughs> no. have to be around links and we have to make them, you know, generate a lot of advantage in order to link climb and whatever. So they went a little ham on that, but I like it. Anyone that hates on Cybers, um, cry up. about it. There hasn't been a good Cybers deck since, um, I guess, Mathmec. But yeah, well, is and it, it took Mathmec years to There has not be been good. a good Cybers deck since existing good Cybers deck. <laughs> <laughs> I got. There has not been a good Psychic deck since Cash Tira. It's like crazy. Uh, what do you think about my pendulum stuff? Because I, I maybe quick, went a little overboard. I'm I see sure. the that lose one turn is on here. That's where we're drawing the line. Is lose one turn? Lose one Fuck turn. it. Every continuous trap card. Get that shit out of there. All right. Didn't you put uh, diagram to three? If you put diagram to three, lose one turn is busted. <laughs> yeah, I put diagram to three, but I'm keeping masterpiece band. Uh, yeah, good shit. Wait, do the diagram opposite. Card. Masterpiece is fine. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right, um, let's let's do a wait. What? Okay, so what's going on with the limited? First, malicious dog. You, I understand. Take dark angel from me. I get that. Malicious. How are you going to do this? I to mean, me? don't you want to clean up that semi limited section? Yeah, no, in, in the opposite That's direction. The malicious section. <laughs> I'm putting it too limited. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it can it can stay it can stay semi. I don't see a problem with it being semi because like they they basically put Mali to four only for hero decks. Yeah, like, this I is the thing I've that. been saying. Like I wish there were certain cards that you quite literally could have at three in some decks, but if you play it in tandem with another card, you can't have it at more copies. You know what I mean? So that's what they did with with heroes, right? They put Mali to two for everyone, Thank you for the but for hero, it's at four be because they have the denier guy. You know. Okay, that makes sense. Let's put it to two then. Did you ban Dark Law? Yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I kept uh, Plasma though. Okay, like 
I don't think that Kieran's going to break anything, but like, do you want to play with this card? I think Kieran is very strong, but I mean, in the end, it doesn't negate and it's just Kieran's a good fine. recurring bounce. Right. I think Kieran is busted in that format you're trying to create. <laughs> Wait, hold up. It's like, I just if got you to... didn't do all those bands, then Kieran would probably be fine. But with all those bands, like you're catapulting us back to like 2015. So Kieran is busted again. Did you put Pot of Greed to one? What I, I want to ask you real quick about Alistair the Invoker. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, fuck that deck. Who wants to play Invoke? Dude, it's well, don't worry. You're not going to encounter. No one's going to do it. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Also, why is there Block Dragon? Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 We've whoa, already whoa. been over this. <laughs> what? What's going I, on? Here, I'm buddy? never. I. I will never get over this. Okay, but here's the thing, right? Someone was like saying. Someone in chat was like, "Okay, you've just made Adam Emancipator full power." But here's the question: What is your end board with Adam Emancipator with no mask, Apollo, Baron, Savage? Like, what is your end board? I mean, it'll block take, Dragon Pass. It'll take some <laughs> doing, but like, can't you just do like, uh, the Dragite Negate, the um. There's some stuff. Sure, right? you can set up. You can set Leonite up like control, bro. for a spell and trap negate, and maybe a crystal wing. Wait, did you leave Guardian like at three? Oh my god! Do I unironically have to put Quacky Meru cards on this? No, you well, don't. Just block dragon. Chat, chat. No, yeah, just ban block dragon. Because the way the way I look at it, right, is I genuinely feel like if your end board is like one or two guardian block dragon dragite, like that's two to three negates plus oh, protection actually, for your board. Chat broke in one second. It's Vera. You just play the on theme like um, Vernasilf stuff. Oh, Vera! Vera is a hell of a boss monster. You know what the unfortunate thing is? All this doesn't matter because even if you ban all these like fifty cards, people are still going to come up with this degenerate shit. Like, yeah, of course, it, you got to ban Block Dragon. <laughs> yes, but like even then, like people are going to find some other combo deck that somehow we haven't, uh, you know, touched, and then they're going to play some some freaking Floodgate from two thousand and six that somehow <laughs> is broken now. But uh, <laughs> we're going to be like, oh, you have to right? we're be back we're here in six ban, months. You have to ban Aspis. You have to ban Aspis because dragons can Aspis. 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 What the fuck is Aspis? Yeah, exactly. Aspis. That's what I mean. Aspis. I thought that was a joke. No, no Aslapiscu. Aslapiscu. With, uh, well, unless you, you ban, you ban uh, Black Phoenix. Garden. Black that... Garden. Black Garden. Oh, yeah. Garden. I actually do ban Black Garden. That's actually a good idea. Aslapiscu? Aslapiscu is Aspis, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think Black Garden should be banned? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nothing that card has ever Black done Garden. has been interesting. Yeah. Black, Black Garden. Garden. Black Garden is very much an FTK garden. Okay. Sick. Um, take, take off Alistair. What the fuck? Uh, They're so okay. mad at me for banning terraforming. Like, how is that like? No, why? Why did you ban Denko Seka? Dude, Denko uh, is it's, it's kind of bullshit. Format. Yeah. I well, okay. That. What what trap decks are being played in this imaginary format? Like labyrinth. Lab. Lab labyrinth. No, Wait, Lab I is mean, full power, right? Well, Pretty okay. Much. Lab is full power, except for the fact that he literally hits the good trap cards in the deck. So Ooh, I, I, I wonder if there's maybe a build of Lab that doesn't play so many trap cards. That would maybe is be there really one? Good in this what the, the furniture build? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You just well, play like furniture Lab. Love that. Yeah, you play like ten traps, and then the rest is just furnitures and hand traps. Oh, okay. you should Love put Chaos Lab. Angel on here. Speaking of furniture, which one's that? The new Synchro? Yeah, the new ten. I still can't find a use for that, but I bought it anyway because I guess I need it. Kind oh, of I got great dragon. news. We have found a use. What's Burning the Abyss. Uh, <laughs> you, you can play it in lab. Uh, Stony oh, really? plus uh, the lady is Chaos Angel. You just make that guy over and over again. Okay. All right. Well, uh, anyway, I am embarking upon you guys to use this for something because I I think that this is a legitimately good format. We should and all boot up Dueling Book right now and build the deck. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Boot up what? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what, what is he saying? <laughs> Sorry, what is Heavy Metal Foes Electromite doing on here? Okay, I mean, what does Pendulum do without Electromite? I, what it's currently doing? I don't know. I, exactly, <laughs> which is what. <laughs> uh, you know, they're, um, they can play Draco Slayer, come on. I did put face off to three and I put monkey board to three. Oh, what the fuck, dog? We, and we, plush fire. We don't want, we don't, uh, plush fire to that three? That sounds, if you put all of them to three, that's a little crazy. <laughs> okay, all right, if, if and, we're gonna oh, stick okay, to, like, we are definitely the, uh... ending on Kieran in this format, I will tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, I w I'm willing to take back Electrobite. Uh, I, I think I think I think monkey board plush fire at one. High key. Should we go? Should we take it slow? Should we go plush fire to one first, then monkey to three? 
Well, we, yeah, you realize monkey free. equals mo equals plush fire, right? Yeah, but if you don't, if you draw both, then you can just search the third one and then et cetera, et cetera, right? You're always, uh, wait, no, but, you can't search uh, plush fire. It's a perform mage, not a perform pile. Yeah. Oh, <clears> is it? I wouldn't know. Dude, I, I thought Pepe was an archetype, so I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> people are telling me that Spiral is too good in my in my format. Thoughts? Spiral, spiral pilots. Spiral. Wait, where, where, wait, did wait, you, have, you, you kept, you what's your name band, band, right? Resort legal? No, no, I unbanned master plan. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? No. I would, you don't, you don't. Know, I mean, well, you put you magician put souls back. to what one. About? So it's at four. Just, <laughs> it's at yeah, seven. It's, it's you, a seven. You, yeah. Seven souls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're rebanning master plan. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh. Magician souls at one, I think, is like, yeah, sure. Okay. You still have like illusion of chaos and stuff, but it's still less consistency. You, you I think that understand. card is absurd. I think that like it, it is so good. The people in your <laughs> chat who are giving you ideas for this ban list, they're Farfa viewers. Like, what do you think they're going to come up with? They're going to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Take master plan. <laughs> What's the pot of greed doing on here? One? Pot of greed? Yeah. Well, well, someone said limit all the pot cards. So I was like, sure. That's crazy. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't even <laughs> limit pot of generosity, bro. You're a hypocrite. <laughs> but, but you can play pot of greed the same turn you prosper, so it's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do about the uh about oh, wait, about but fucking put Snatch the steel back. Plan. Why are we playing Snatch? Ma Master plan has fine, to stay banned. Master plan on. is so crazy. That card's fucking busted. Okay, okay, okay. all right, fine. Uh, Sprite Elf. Yo, you okay. limited. You limited Monster Gate. Uh, Monster Gate's Lim already Monster Gate is limited. limited. It's yeah. at three. It's at three. It's oh, definitely it at three. That's, am that's, I crazy? That's Chad, my, I, thought, I thought of Monster Gate and Reasoning. One of them was at three. It's at, one. Both okay, at it's one. at three. It's at three in Master Duel, right? Yes. No, reasoning is definitely at three. Am I am I Master Duel pilled right now? You are Master Duel yeah. pilled right now. Holy shit, man! Oh it's my also god! Not a quick play I, if you're forgetting that. Three, no, no, no. It's definitely a quick play. I just think they <laughs> forgot to errata it. That's on. Them. Oh wait, we brought um, Elf back. Uh, yeah, I put Elf to one and banned Sprint. Uh, I like that. Okay. She do, Josh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a reason that that's not okay, but I can't come up with one. Hmm. <laughs> We still have full Rika at, at like full power. What do we do about that? Uh, ban Loki. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, we don't want to just get okay. a killer. So here, here's the thing. You, you were like, yo, ban circular. It's a one card full combo and whatever. But Loki's fine at three. Just put it to one at that point. Oh, like, you know, put Loki to one. Like, if you hate generic shit, you could just ban like, like wandering Jasmine? Griffin Rider. Griffin Rider? <laughs> what the Omni Negate Adventure card? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's banned. Oh, it is. Oh, then it's not yeah. full power, right? The Rick yeah, I mean, that's... It's, it's less oh, resilient, but the end board is still the same. The, the Rick build that's like full power then is the one that just like does the princess thing over and over again, right? How, how bad is one Jasmine in that deck? I know they make two in combo. Like, does they... only having one of it make it hard? Uh, depends on. I don't need to do You can play Rika without Sun Avalon. That deck's not bad. But yeah, the, the Rika one that topped what? One of your EU tournaments, right? Wasn't that. It wasn't doing really Sun Avalon shit. It was doing a little, but like nothing substantial. You could basically just do like most of your combo with, with Rika. Yeah, that. You could just ban uh, Jasmine. You could ban Jasmine. I also wouldn't Jasmine hate the really idea good. of limiting. Like, I don't hate the idea of limiting Lokai only for the specific reason that it just means. If you interrupt the one loci, you know that they're not just going to go, all right, I'm going to unexpected die, summon another one, and do it anyway. I If we put hmm. vanilla on this list, we are never living down the accusation. What do you mean? There are four pieces of Exodia on this list, I, Joseph. What are you talking about? <laughs> I hate hitting consistency, because I don't think it really fixes the core issue. You were That's just talking to us about really souls, right? I don't feel like that's yeah. much of a hit to consistency at that point. Like they just have like 19 copies of Loki instead of 20 million. Like it, it's <laughs> they will they will see it. It just means that it, it's very much more susceptible to interruption. That's all it is. All right, we could ban Jasmine or we could ban Con Con. Uh, no, Con Con. Con crazy. Sorry, Con Con is very cool. I like that card. It's fun. It is a very cool card, but it's also tribute for cost. Yeah, it's neat. Interaction for mind control. Ooh, I, let's go Jasmine. Yeah, of those two, Jasmine is the bigger problem. I all guess. right, settled. Anything crazy you want to bring back at all? Metamorphosis. Really? <laughs> I'm just looking at it. What, what are we doing with Metamorphosis? I'm, I'm interested. 
I mean, I I think it should probably stay banned, but <laughs> it, it should. <laughs> it totally should. <laughs> Um, um, I'm trying to think, like, hypothetically, like, in any deck, if you draw Metamorphosis plus your full combo, what do you realistically transform it into? Like, what is good to summon? There's, like, Last Warrior, which is banned. Wait, Maybe, sorry. like, an exterior? I, I just looked back at the limited list. You brought back Kit. Yeah. Do you not like that? <gasps> oh, no, I like it a great deal. All right, I know of what I'm playing. Of course, do you think Tier is fine with everything limited? Oh, I should probably ban Pearl of Rhino if Kit's back, right? Everything limited but Kit legal? I mean... Put yeah, every okay. card with tier limits in the name at one, and we're cool. <laughs> I think ban Pearl of Rhino. Like, I think that like card's absurd. Every single, put them all to one. Now, the question is, is it too good? Okay, so you unbanned Brilliant Fusion, which is interesting. Um, oh, but you, notice. the only the only counter thing you did was ban Lapis. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, well, can you still FTK? You can't FTK, but like... Like brilliant, brilliant for 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 Seraph Knight is still fucking crazy, even in our the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. Okay, so you don't need a um, Seraph Knight at all in Gem Knight, right? Uh, well, no, you do, but I mean, not if you're playing Gem Knight the, with the new support and stuff like that, because they make you play blind second and shit like that. Okay, so what's but... your thoughts on letting Gem Knight have Brilliant Fusion at three, but banning Seraph okay, Knight so it doesn't so... become a generic card that everyone can play? So the counter argument is Gem Knights have Brilliant Fusion at three. Um, but so they, they printed a new card that's exactly Brilliant Fusion's text, but locks you into Gem Knights. So you don't need Brilliant Fusion no more. So Brilliant to three, bad idea? Uh, yeah, because then you're just giving every single deck Brilliant. Like Gem Knights have Brilliant Fusion. I but Brilliant is only good in every single deck because of Seraphonite, right? Well, it's also foolish. Um, barrel, no, they right? played it in they played it in um they played it in the Thunder Dragons. Mm, yeah, to send snow. Yeah, it's no, foolish. they played in Thunder Dragons to make the they played the Thunder guy, not the um because it just makes Titan. What was off that guy's name? Fusion. It was like Ruby. That's like Bumbler. a fine use of the card, I think. Is it? <laughs> well, Is I mean, not? think about it now. Um, post Thunder Dragon Colossus ban, what are they doing with it? Yeah, make Titan. Um, I need to find this spell. I need to read the the new gem I don't know. fusion card. I, I, I'm not a fan of it because I feel like it's foolish burial. But if you if you do leave it off, you would probably have to ban Seraphonite. Well, Vlad says it's spooky foolish that needs a brick. Grow up. I kind of like that argument. <laughs> well, if it gives you yeah, an extra normal, it it's still worth it. So the new spell is called Scatter Fusion. It says if your opponent controls a monster, which already awesome. is off to a bad start. There you yeah, go. there you, you go. Summon, you should summon a non-rock gem knight, meaning it can make Seraphonite. Brand of fusion. It's Brand of Fusion, guys. Yeah, yeah so the problem with that card is you, you're, you can only use it going second, right? So well, give him okay, Brilliant okay. Fusion, take away Seraphonite. I think it's fine. Here's, here, no, here, here's, your, uh, here's my argument. One. Get Brilliant Fusion at three if you take away Seraphonite and Block Dragon because it foolish is Block Dragon. Yeah, you should ban Block Dragon anyway, yeah. Yes, oh. and that is that is a thing that needs to be made because Zirconia is uh, oh my a Gem Knight plus Rock. Bro, if Brill if Gem Knight is a competent deck, is it who cares, right? Like come Wait, on. Wait, did you did you leave Master Diamond at one or did you put it to three? It's at one. Uh okay. Well la okay. ladies band, right? What are you doing with Master Diamond? Yeah, you Lapis, have, Lapis, Lapis is a ladies band, so you can't FTK. You can't FTK. Uh no, you can do some really cool shit. Like in the sense of um like it's gonna sound so stupid. Like Master Diamond gets really big and just does a lot of damage. Like it, as a blind second <laughs> no deck, way. like as a blind second deck with Block Dragon, Gem Knight would unironically be like really fucking cool. Yeah, and there's no like mass back removal, so you don't just auto win, right? So I think yeah. it, I think it'd be I, fine if I Gem Knight balance... is a good go second deck. Like, oh no, the balance for oh, Block fuck. Dragon is that everyone's <laughs> is gonna Gustav be Max still legal? Vlad is asking the real questions. Uh, uh, yes. We could ban that. <laughs> That's like a fun FTK tool we could get rid of. Yeah, that's okay, hard. let's, let's ban Gustav Max. You could put it to one. I feel like that wouldn't be loopable, but I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. Does that matter? <laughs> no, what the fuck? What does no. Gustav Max even do? It's just a generic 10 just that you go into. It burns into. 2k. It burns 2k. Yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, that's it, right? It just burns 2k. <laughs> And that's yeah, just not unfair. Once like it's not hard. Loop it. It's not yeah. a hard once. But you, but it, but it's fine because you can still rank up and do other stuff with other rank ten machines. I assume like uh, Sky Palace and stuff. So it's not like it kills Earth decks randomly. No, if you for ban sure. This. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, good, you then. can't kill something that doesn't live, right? Okay, so. wow. This, first the cyber <laughs> slander, and now the exist. earth machine slander. How could you be disparaging <laughs> these incredible decks? All right, uh, this is looking good. Um, any other final comments before what I head on? What the fuck does off? mistaken arrest do? Ben Dante, actually, ben, Dante ben Dante, Ben Dante, Ben Dante. Doing in here? Uh, mistaken arrest is just mistake, but quick play spell. No, mistaken arrest is max C for adding. Every time no, your opponent adds, right. that's that's. Oh, I'm looking. I'm thinking of the wrong the good card. One. I'm stupid. They have the same art. Never mind. <laughs> they are technically part of the same theme. I the suppose. same lore, bro. The yeah. same lore. I well, I can't bro. see what you took off. Is there uh, is there anything trying... contentious you took off? Yeah, remind me all the crazy stuff I brought back. If I brought back any, I think it was just monkey board to three. I put Karen to one, plush fire to three. Although maybe we could just put plush fire to one first. Honestly, um, we, oh, you put every, engage to three. You every match. Oh, I put terror top to three and engage to three. To three. And it's not a problem. If you don't have electromagnetic. Terror top to three. three. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, really? You put <laughs> Men's really just wants B8 to be playable, dude. He wants what to What do you mean? There's no Cherubini. There's no MX Saber Invoker. What, what do you mean? You okay, okay there's no Cherubini. Only like, there was that something else. Fucking matters, dude. Oh, three grass as well. Gold pride. I'm gold priding with terror top. Yeah. Gold pride. No, See, the no. problem is oh, that's like that's one, desirable. Suppose, but that's I banned cool. Oridon. You put Tomahawk to one. Yeah, and banned Oridon. Um, well, why not just guess. put it to three at that point? <laughs> Probably. You're like, yes, extra deck monster. That's very easy to summon. Put it to one. <laughs> I mean, there are never certain know, things like, that maybe they're it. fine, but I don't, I don't want to risk it because that card yeah. is either terrible or it's a problem. Which one? Yeah. Tomahawk, for example. Yeah. If we're banning like these dog shit floodgate extra deck monsters like Crooked Cook, we can ban Tomahawk, surely. There's like cards <laughs> where they're probably fine, but I don't want to risk it because what if they're not fine? Yeah. So, wait, looking at this ban list isn't purely just like the best deck. It's yeah, I haven't like happening. done like sort of a lot of uh, post Cynet uh, Cyberstorm access yet, so I don't know what to do about Pearly if, if oh, you anything. Don't, you don't have done. to do anything. Don't worry. You got you got Kit Close tier in here. You ain't got to worry about Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, sort no, of killing. Oh, uh, you, no, was, we uh, hit we hit pearly. There's a Zeus limit on here. That that works. <laughs> <laughs> you put Dryden to one. Okay, I think that is the most flip floppiest card I've ever seen. Like players give a fuck about in. I don't in know why Konami it's hates actually Dryden, insane. Dude. Like it's Dryden's so crazy. Really it goes to one. Card. Everyone cries for it to get banned. It's banned. Everyone cries for it to go to one. It's insane. Oh, I guess I put Barrage to three. Oh shit! You're you're high. In, you are I'm high. In, I'm back in. You got me back. No, you are you are on crack cocaine. My guy. Holy! Wait, you did you put a Max Saber Invoker to three, or is it no, still banned? No, no, it's banned. No, 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 it's banned. It's banned. Okay, I thought I didn't Thank see God. it on there. I was like, I'm fucking losing my mind right now. The moral of the story is you can't fix Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> How about we ban Martha? Yes. That's so sister what? Martha. I hate How that. How about you deck, suck my dick and balls? That's my circular. For no shot. That, just, that is that. my circular, but thank God it's absolutely ass. Yeah, that deck is <laughs> dog shit. Like that deck is exactly only good if it goes first and draws Jesus. Yeah, Martha isn't even like circular is everything. Martha isn't even full combo. You need another one. Yeah. Dude, my opponent went Martha on uh, Masado, and they banished four of my pen skills. Oh, like, why, what? why, why? You know, for. Sorry. I think it. I think it's sorry. fine to ban Martha for the sake of, like, preventing people to from playing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good deck, but it's just like you shouldn't. You know, like, it's like no the, one's uh, gonna have a good time if you do that. It's the king. Someone of the swamp came onto hit. my stream once for the viewer hot take Colin thing, and they said that they don't play Martha because it hinders the deck from its generic rank four access. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it does. Mar Martha, Martha, Martha breathes and it locks you into into mm -hmm. Exo Sisters. Like so that's the really, thing. We're, we're helping like... Exo Sister players build their deck correctly. <laughs> no, dude. Everyone, everyone is saying that it's like it's spellcaster circular, but it's not. Circular has no one. Is, a no one has ever circular. said that. <laughs> <laughs> People in this. I no know, one I'm Farfus direct chat. whoever is saying that here to this Literally, call. in Farfa's chat. Viewer. In Farfa's chat. What the fuck are you? It's Farfa's <laughs> Farfa viewers. Chatter. What do you Farfa mean? Chatter. Dude, no one here watches my stream, okay? No one Farfa here does. Chatter. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right, we're uh, not gonna make them do it now with that with those statements. Here, hold up. <laughs> chats, collective <laughs> chats. What's what did we forget? What's broken? Um. Well, I guess like maybe I had released too many striker cards. I put Kagari to one and unlimited engage. I think that's fine. Um, uh, wait, I think the uh, striker is fine. I think the problem card that makes striker splashable in other decks is Hornet drones. drones. Yeah, drones. Yeah. Drones should probably yeah, be drones is still at one. I think Bandit I think, I think, Drones is fine because Striker doesn't yeah. need it. Only other decks need it. Mm -hmm. I agree, especially now that they have like uh, uh, what's her name? Fucking the other Ray, the the black hair Ray. Fuck, what's her name, man? Rose. Rose. That's the one. Thank you, bro. Card names escape. Wait, do you want to put Kagari to three and engage, but ban Drones? Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no don't keep. No. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't make me do this again. Damn. I'll agree if I'm you put Gazelle to four. How about that? Put Gazelle. I put Gazelle to three. I'll put it to four. Put it to Banning four. We need circular. We're giving them three. <laughs> Only if we are rata it to be a pyro. Oh, Josh, Ooh. thoughts on the new sport? <laughs> oh, don't it's so bad, me. right? I'm not just yes. going crazy. It's awful. It is trash. None okay. of the cards are good. The link four is like somewhat playable, but not really. Chat says, "Where is uh, Ammer Factor Pain?" Uh, come on, we got to draw the line somewhere, right? Uh, well, is Drytron full power here? Other than uh, the Ava hit? Kind of, yeah. Is oh, right a one. sort of a but dark a horse. What if, we, what if we throw a Herald of Ultimateness on there? I've never enjoyed one of those games. Oh, it's, well, it's, it's, not, it's not fixable. You, 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 you have to hit the never stop. Them, They've made too many uh, non-fun cards. <laughs> it's just not possible. <laughs> The, yeah. th the, like the thing with Drytron, it's all it, it just abuses rituals. So like you, you if you don't do heraldness, uh, herald you're doing like armor factor. Unironically, well, yeah. What if we yeah, uh, genuinely? What if we just <laughs> what if we just ban uh, Benton? Like, Benton is the one. Yeah, but is Mew Beta or something. Here? Benton's at one, but I think Benton's the ban. Uh, I mean, I don't think Drytron is a particularly uh, fun deck. I don't, I don't. I've never really enjoyed it. I thought maybe if I'm we want to kill biased, Drytron, but... we could just ban like fucking Alpha or something. Ban me, Tiona's Drytron. That's it. Just ban, ban the rituals. Just ban Al Alpha and Benton. I don't care. <laughs> no, to be honest, you could just ban the the Drytron ritual spell, so that instead of playing Drytron as a deck, you can you have to play it as like an engine for other ritual shit. Like the same way you do with incantations, you know. Sure, sounds good. That genuinely can be an option. Yeah, All right, I'm liking this. Anything that makes that deck worse is great for me. I'm I'm really yeah. <laughs> Nesh what, wait, hold up. what is that Chad? super heavy samurai card? Is that the fucking FTK one? I think so, yeah. Alright, whatever. Uh apparently the super heavy just cannot FTK if you ban that card, so right at this point just rotate. Damn. Speaking of rotate, I've been I put saying... rotate a three. What? I put Rota to three. That's probably fine, right? Yeah, that's. I think so, but I'm also <laughs> a little biased. If you thought Cybers was an archetype with too many dog shit monsters in it, what do you see Warriors? Nah, Warriors fine. Oh, one thing. What's would you put Etelli at? I banned it. Thank yeah, that's, fuck. That's okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. I was, I was just thinking, is, like, is crazy, that, card's, like... That, card's, that card's nuts. That card's I, fucking bonkers. Yeah, it's, it's absurd. Oh, did you banish Balkan? Please banish Balkan. Oh, oh God, yeah, all right. should, yeah. Let's go! Fuck you, Mish Balkan! <laughs> yes, right. out of my life, bro. This, this looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud we, of this. We can, I'm gonna we save this and work some, on it. Uh, we can throw in some like balance hits to the top decks and then we're good or this is yeah, so because you're a Konami employee, I, don't I, don't one. I don't know why we're talking about this because you're a konami employee you can just send them this and they'll make it live right yeah <laughs> well that's why we're well, doing it now it's got 30 minutes uh it's not coming out today you know that exactly. right Remaining. you know it's that coming, right it's coming out in 42 minutes don't you see the timer yeah, on it's, it's not screen? coming out today yeah subathon look at that chat hey, can we get one sub to make the ban list come out one minute later <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for joining yeah, me, nice. boys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. That picture of Josh where he's got the YPFL merch is clean as fuck. So this is PFP on shit. Uh, that was perfect. Uh, what a bunch of nice young men. That was great. I think that was the first time I've been in a call with Josh, by the way. <laughs> we have somehow completely avoided each other at all times. I said hi to him at uh, at London. All right, new cards, new cards, Pogchamp, aka free money for Vlad. Uh, 
<sighs> Invite Josh to Magical Hats. I would love having Josh on Magical Hats. Um. Okay, let's click the new cards. Is there anything other than the new salads? I don't think so, right? <clears throat> new cards, Pog Champ. New cards, Pog Champ. First and foremost, the last Batlin Boxer card. Seventh Force. Uh, during the battle phase, if a monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, target a number Xyz monster in your graveyard. A special summon from your extra deck. A number C monster with the same type but a rank higher. Attach the monster in your graveyard to the summon monster. Then if the monster is a 101 through 107, you can add a Baryons, a rank up, or a 7th. This card is really good. What the fuck? This card's, this card's strong. The problem is... Um, it's Omega Telegraphed, and it is <laughs> it is really really easy to play around. <laughs> I uh, I probably won't play it, despite the fact that there is an insane amount of raw power in this card. Right, like it's just like whoa, this is crazy. I mean, I ain't making it. It's you know what it is. It's that meme that's like, who wants to rank up during the battle phase? It's like yeah, who wants to play this unsearchable quick play? Okay, no, not me. So. Whatever, um, you know, let's, uh, let, but yeah, I know why you're all here. You don't want to hear me talk about, like, the implications of the Baryon world on Batlin Boxers. You want to hear me talk about the new salads. Uh, we're getting new salads. I don't know why. I don't know who asked for this, but we are getting them. Now, uh, salad is currently in a weird place because it's fine. It's like a completely playable deck. It has tops in the current format, plural, tops with an S. So, I don't know. I, I just, Little concern that we're getting new ones. Interested to see what they are. Uh, Salaman Great Wheelzel. Weasel. It's a weasel on a wheel. Uh, hard once. If you have two or more salads in your graveyard, you can special this card from your hand. If a Salaman Great Ritual Fusion Synchro Xyz or Link is special to your field while this card is in your graveyard, target another Salaman Great in your graveyard, place this card on the bottom of the deck, special summon that monster to the opponent's field, then draw one card. This card is crazy! They've never printed a Salaman Great that can be special summoned. It just kind of seems like chaff to me. This, I guess it's like, oh, it's a tuner? Why is it a tuner? Is there a Salaman Great Synchro? Maybe I need to keep scrolling. Otherwise, it seems kind of boring. <laughs> All right. Salaman Great Tiger. It's a hard R. It's a five tuner. You can discard a Salaman Great card to special summon this card from your hand. If a card you control will be used to synchro material for a fire monster, you can treat it as a non-tuner, and you can modulate by one. Um, mm, okay. I mean, this is going to live or die based on how good the synchro is, right? Oh, fuck. New Pyro Phoenix. They said, sorry about the old Pyro Phoenix. We're going to make this one good. Salaman Great Raging Phoenix. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is linked summoned in using Salaman Great Raging Phoenix as material, you can add a Salaman Great card from your deck to your hand. This card is ass. Uh, if a face-up fire monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can target one of them, special this card, and if you do, it gains attack equal to this monster. This is not as bad as people have been saying. Uh, it's, it's not great. I'm not going to pretend like it's fantastic. Um, but I think there's some stuff you can do. Uh, if you, so that doesn't say Salmon Great Monster, so if you Reincarnation Link it, you can get, like, Rage, Rage Pop 4, then it's in your graveyard, so if any other card you control is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you bring it back, right? And then if you're on 3 and it lives, you can Reincarnation again. It also, like, never dies. It doesn't say, like, special this card and, uh... Then afterwards, banish it. 
like it just always sits in the graveyard and fucks up combat. You can go get Will off of this card and summon four monsters back, but like you're already in a position where you've just summoned four monsters worth of material, so I I hesitate to think what you would be able to do with another like maybe you make a co-linked like fucking uh a wolf or something. Post Raging Phoenix. It's interesting. <laughs> I think that, like, the fact that it's always around is going to really give Salaman Great the teeth. It already wanted to... It, like, Salaman Great secretly doesn't want to be what it is. It doesn't want to play this, like, turn three bullshit where it just makes access code. Secretly, it wants to be, like, a grindy deck that uses Falco to loop Rage every turn. And you just, like, pop your opponent's field a bunch of times. And then you get way ahead in card advantage and, like, add Ash back over and over again. And this facilitates that game plan really, really fantastically. It prevents you from dying on your opponent's turn, and it gives you, like, an unreal amount of advantage on your own. Um, but it's not fantastic. You know, it's, it's not going to completely revolutionize the archetype. It's not going to fix all of its problems. Um, and I think that's going to turn a lot of people off. <sighs> Can you loop both phoenixes when one of them dies? Nope. Nope. It is a hard once. All right, let's check out the uh, the the synchro that you all want me to check out. You can target a level 7 or lower fire monster in your graveyard. You can't special monsters for the rest of the turn. Special summon that monster. If you do reduce this card's level by that monster's level. That card's great. That part's crazy. If it's synchro summoned using... Oh, it's self as material. Okay. I don't know how you're doing that. The first effect, you reduce it to, like, three. Oh, it actually does it by itself, right? Oh, this is hilarious. It does it itself. Uh, you target one piece of the material, the tuner, reduce this card by the level of the tuner, and then you make it again. That's so funny. Um, sadly, this card is not great. Uh, it's a great way to get a salad out of your graveyard for the low, low cost of two salads, which means you go net neutral. During the next standby phase, you get a special monster from your graveyard, but I can't really think what that improves. Scythe? Yeah, no, I mean, Salomon Gray would be experimenting with Scythe Lock if that card was still legal. <laughs> Summon a fucking barrier statue or something? No... Heat sold to draw a card. Yeah, not impressed with that one. Salomon Great Charge of the Light Brigade. Target three of your fire monsters that are banished from your graveyard. Two into the deck. Special to the third. If you control a fire ritual, fusion, exceed, synchro, link monster. Target a card on the field. Destroy it. It's not good. Salomon Great Revive. Uh, target a fire monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target a salmon, great monster, and a monster with the same name in your graveyard, shuffle the second target into the deck. The first gains attack equal to its own attack until the end of the turn. Okay, that one's bad. So... <clears throat> These are okay. Like, I've seen a lot of people talking about how they're ass, 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 million times ass, will never be playable. I guess the synchro enablers are not very good because the synchro isn't very good and the spell and trap aren't fantastic. Maybe someone will figure out a use for, like, a use case for charge. But Raging Phoenix seems okay. I, I will be experimenting with this card. I think that it really does have the potential to make Salaman great a style of deck that isn't just update jammer to access code and hopefully and i know i'm just coping here this telegraphs that we are going to be banning access code because i can't imagine a scenario where you print this and expect duelist to take it seriously but don't hit update jammer access code <laughs> I think these cards are better than people are saying, but not great. 
funny line I thought of with new combo. Okay, well, Dyer, that one doesn't work. So? That's fine. All right, there's one more card we need to talk about. Folks. You all know banned card in Edison format staple dandelion. But have you ever asked yourself? Hey! What if they made him white? Well, my current sneezing is a result of our newest card, Dandy White Lion. Hey. <coughs> this is Dandelion, but they made him white. <sighs> can only use this uh, card's name's effect once per turn. During the turn you activate this effect, you can't special monsters from the extra. If it's sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, Special summon three white fluff tokens. This card's terrible. This card is really, really bad. It's really not good. Why would they do this to my boy? <sighs> Looks like shit. Not interesting. Unplayable. I think this is actually reverse racist, right? <laughs> Two types of comments right now in the chat. This is an attack against the whites and this is an attack against the whites, Drake. <laughs> Thanks, GCD. <sighs> All right. Listen. I don't like it. Theoretically, I guess. A Gito. A Gito. It's like something you can retain in your hand and then send to the graveyard for the cost of a card. And then, like, proc it on your opponent's turn. But to what end? Alex DeLion, thank you for the, uh, for the sub. The dandy white line. See, now even the even the dandy part I'm thinking about. Does dandy line refer to the fact that it's a lion? Or is it is it like a... Oh, he's just a dandy. This card is you? It kind of is though, right? It kind of is. Nah, this card is not good. Ugh. Sorry to those of you watching on MBT Clips. I didn't think I'd be so sneezy today. Oh, this also, I love that Twitter works. Twitter is just like, it works so well right now. Oh, and it has logged me out. Oh, and it has logged me back in on my secret alt that I'm using to camp a username once Elon Musk gives it back. Okay, well, I guess I will log in again. And fucking two factor in. Has this been happening to anyone else? This is happening to me like once an hour at this point. Yes. Awesome. What a wonderful sight. <clears throat> All right, we, we, we skipped this in order to talk with Farfa and Josh, but we need to talk about some more Twitter freaks. We had a couple new Twitter freaks as of yesterday. Let's do them real quick. First up, 
Trying to find something cool in Ashland. A few things are for sure. There are two honeydews, a hill that looks like the Microsoft XP background next to a rotary, a chimney store that also sells worms, a place to do laundry while filing a police report, a haunted restaurant, and so much more. Um, Ashland is a place in Massachusetts. Lucas, Alex, and Zach were some of the first people I met in town. Also known as Ashlabama. Ashlabama. <laughs> They all live in Ashland, but Zach grew up here. <laughs> oh yeah, bro, you got it, you got it. And as much as he loves his hometown, he's not sticking around today. Yeah, I think I'm going to Boston. I might watch a horror movie with the goth girl. Yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you, man. Yeah. With the goth girl? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Change Why? your life, bro. So he left me with that advice, some coconut water, and I found even more generosity down the street. Can I get a ride in the convertible? Well, it's Woo! Whoa, okay! Even over at Ashland State Park, a popular spot for grilling and chilling. Have you ever tried this before? No. No? Hey, there's a first time for everything. Oh my god. That's perfect. Am I part of the family now? Oh, uh, well, you're always welcome. In Ashland, I'm Matt Shearer. For more fun things to do in town, ask Alexa to play WBZ News Radio on iHeartRadio. Everything is in Ashland, you know? We have my McD's is in Ashland. <laughs> McDonald's? McDonald's, uh, uh, the other place, uh, what is it called? Uh, yeah, oh my goodness, uh, ice cream place. Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen. Point me to my opponent, I've been annoyed at top five from the 508, give me my roses. I love it. It, you, it, you know, I don't like to get nostalgic about America because, as we all know, it is a deeply evil nation. Uh, but it is nice that in almost every like small town on earth you will find the same 15 or 20 people over and over again like you i i grew up in a town like this that just did not have dog shit to do and every single person in this is just like a character i know intimately oh it's like very weird uh live bait store uh very weird placement for a shopping center um, restaurant that purports to be haunted, a bunch of guys sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> you know, fucking with their car. Um, and then, uh, this guy's like, oh yeah, I will absolutely show off this convertible. Uh, they, they even have the guy who upon seeing a microphone was like, oh shit, can I please freestyle? Uh, we got the guy who's like, oh yeah, everything's going down in this city. You know, we got a McDonald's. <laughs> it's great. Uh, what a lovely video. What a lovely little video. We got a Guido. A Guido! Soldier 421, thank you for the sub. Sponsoring Jason Leonard takes years off your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, unfortunately, not everything can be good. In fact, sometimes the worst things come in good packages. I'm talking about the good doctor. Now, you all are familiar with The Good Doctor, I'm sure. You've seen over the past couple of days a significant amount of memes and tweets about his divisive performance. And uh, the performance of the one and only Dr. Han dealing with what can only be called a tantrum from The Good Doctor. Well, all yesterday, and I'll admit that I was part of this as well, there were people extolling the virtuousness of Dr. Han, but unfortunately, today I have been informed uh, that Dr. Han uh, maybe is not the kind upstanding f uh, the kind upstanding person that we have all been led to believe. Um, in fact, while his full name is Jackson Han, he, his powers and skills are actually not only his surgical expertise, but manipulation and intimidation. And his hobby is bullying his surgeon employees. And his goals are to remove Dr. Sean Murphy from surgery to pathology and then fire him should he ever challenge his authority. This later backfired, of course. And uh, his, his goal, of course, is to maintain his job as chief of surgery and... Prevent Sean from being ever rehired by any means necessary, all failed. His crimes, of course, are abuse and ableism and blackmail, and type of villain is xenophobic blackmailer. So I just want to say, personally, I disavow Dr. Han. I did not know he was a xenophobic blackmailer. I'm sorry. I, like, I did not research him. Uh, I did not know what he had done. I'm very sorry. I want to say unequivocally, 
you know, I, again, I can't in in clearest possible terms. I disavow Dr. Han did not know that he was a xenophobic blackmailer. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. We got to get this show off the air. I'm hoping that this will get the show off the air if it's not off the air already. But, um, uh, oh boy. Is that guy, is, they, they got to make a show about, like, an autistic person, like, like an autistic doctor or something, and he's just, like, a normal doctor, right? Like, they got to make, they got to make a version of the good doctor where he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm autistic. That's what, that's what they need to do. Because what this is, it's not good. There is, it's Steven Universe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, House MD. Yeah, that's me, but as a lawyer. Yeah, exactly. We got to make the good lawyer and it's Spence. And it's just like, it's an unwatchable eight hour show where Spence is just like, oh, well, that should have been in records. That's the whole show. <laughs> it's called House. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought House was just an asshole. I thought, I thought House was just an asshole. Anyway, I don't know. I, people have said this all day, and, you know, I, I have to agree. Something's going on. Primetime TV is just all this shit. You watch TV shows like this, and, and like, you see, like, uh, bits from Ted Lasso and This Is Us, and it's like, not only, of course, is this wildly ableist, you know, oh, my God, whoa, an, a, an autistic person, but they're good at something, you know? Um, it's also like, what do you think the Amazon is it's just dreck. Like? You watch it and it's just like sludge. It's just awful. Ah! You're just pouring something into your eyes and your ears that isn't supposed to be there. I don't like it. What's the best TV show you've watched in recent memory? That's a good question. Um, Jeopardy. <laughs> CJ Alex, thank you for the three. What's more offensive, uh, this guy's acting or Hugh Laurie's American accent? Hey, fuck off. What if... Okay. <laughs> the other thing is I, <laughs> I saw this tweet and I, I just have to wholeheartedly agree. Someone quote tweeted this and they were like, wait a minute. An autistic surgeon? Nah, that would never happen. Wait a minute. A surgeon with a really poor bedside manner who gets, like, hyper-focused and, like, is really good at meticulous little tasks? No. That, no, I don't think that, that, I, that doesn't, that wouldn't work. No shot. That wouldn't work. Surgeons are known for their warm, <laughs> empathetic understanding of patients. <laughs> I just, like, what the fuck? What's the premise of this show? It makes no sense. Ugh. But millions of people are watching it a day. I saw one tweet that broke my fucking heart. And it was, I think it was a comment. Was it a comment earlier last stream or something? It was someone who was like... My mom didn't believe I was autistic until I got a diagnosis because I didn't act like the doctor in this show. <laughs> like, she was watching the show and she was like, nah, nah, nah. Man, that's rough. That's so bad. That's just terrible. <laughs> My mom unironically says that to me. I hate it. I'm sorry to hear that, Dyer. That's not good. So, on one hand, we've, of course, got the fun shit that's happening in Ashland. We've got the evils of Dr. Han. But now, uh, Scorch SB, you have, you have absolutely zoned in on it. We are going to, we're going to, we're going to get a palate cleanser, as it were. And we're going to check out the one, the only hungry burger meal at Coco's. Now, I got to ask you. Are you fucking with the hungry burger meal? Uh, are we getting this? Don't we have Coco's? Are we getting this? I, I need it so bad. I cannot describe how much I need the Coco's hungry burger burger. 
OCG only? Shut the fuck up. Give it to us. You're really going to do a burger ad and not give it to America? Oh my god. It's not even like a thing. They just sent them a thing that cuts the cheese in a teeth shape. But oh man. OCG exclusive burger? <laughs> this is a hate crime against Americans. Hmm. We gotta make it homemade. Yeah, maybe we'll do that for the subathon. We'll make the hungry burger burger. We're going to import it six months later. True. Is the next subathon for a second house? Nope. It's for Joseph Rothschild doesn't understand tax season. It's for greed, I would say, mostly. Avarice. Either the patty is too thin or the tomato is too thick. I mean, if you look at Hungry Burger, the tomato is the same width as the burger. There's no, there's more of them. Where? <gasps> I do like this thing that Japan seems to do that we never do. I know they had these at the, like, Duel Links thing that they invited Gage and Doug to. But they always make drinks that are based off of, like, a character. Why don't we do that? I want character-themed drinks. Uh, this is just a curry. Seven's Road Magician. Maybe it's, like, Seven Flavors Magician. You got, like seafood and a burger and the, the curry sauce you got broccoli i don't know what's going on there um this is the blue eyes white dessert i think and that's uh that's listerine that you have to drink these look great you never went to the homestuck pop-up cafe i was not able to go to the homestuck pop-up cafe The Travis Scott meal. Oh, you got me. McDonald's is doing it. They're the only ones. How did this low rank duelist win? Where are Coder's shorts? Coder promised us shorts. Where are the shorts? Still new. Oh, no, wait. Look at this. No new shorts. It's all the same old shorts. Wait, what the fuck? No, latest. We gotta what are you doing? We need, the, we need the other ones that he promised us. All right. So, we bullied him? Yeah, I think that was it. So we are going to do, I think, Jank Bank tomorrow because I don't like the responses. I'm sorry if that sounds mean. You all got to do better. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted TCG exclusive decks. No, we, we might do it today. Um, we pro Here's the thing, chat. We probably have time for either Jank Bank or the Twitter thread. We should do Jank Bank. The Twitter thread is also pretty dire. So I, I posted the Twitter thread last night. I'm asking for your biggest Yu-Gi-Oh hauls. Like when you went to a Walmart that had not seen like a human enter it in 15 years and you found something crazy, right? The problem is we can't do the Twitter thread tomorrow because um, Dyer needs to have it by today. That's too specific. No, it's not. It's just something that not everyone can respond to. Uh, and many people try to respond anyway. Uh, we got some good ones, though. Dyer's is actually really good. We can make eight minutes out of this, I think. Is that the Tempest tin Danny got? Yeah. What is... Yeah, Danny, could you post yours? Just post... <laughs> just post yours as well. Tempest kind of got the temp... Tempest... Stussy. Look. 
Tempest Stussy. The Tempest Stussy. The Tempest Pussy. I could lie. No, don't do that. All right, so we'll do this at noon, but first uh, we have 12 minutes to kill because um, I want to see if the ban list is going to come out. Ooh, this looks good. Hold up. Let's kill time on this. So good, what the fuck? I, 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 I... Crypto Luigi is going full power, true. Let's watch, um... Hmm. APS amplifier. I really think, and especially in a card gaming space, mm -hmm. adults actually need to step back and let kids and in, invite kids to enjoy and play these card games the same way we did at one point. APS is doing the two guys podcast. They're doing two guys podcast. We got to get it on this space. I think card games right now are ruled by adults. Yes. We we get we buy all the product as fast as we can. We dictate how they play because we're running the tournaments and we're oftentimes the judges and everything else. And also we don't let them just freely experience the game. Correct. There's no schoolyard Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not just because kids aren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but because now, if a kid wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh, there's some adult telling them what, like, how to what do and it, how and what everything. is legal. We didn't have that. We were all winging it. And for some reason... Um, I don't think that's true. I, I know a lot of teachers whose kids play card games with no understanding of, like, they don't go to twitch.tv slash mbt Yu-Gi-Oh and watch a meta breakdown. We loved it. Oh, hold up. Sadie's friend is here. It's about to go nuts. All right. But what about Boxy Boo? Where is Jumbo Josh? No, I. this is in response to a thing about a Pokemon shop that they would give kids first crack at the packs. That's good. I think the, like, speculators jumping in is bad. Ooh, let's get Danny in here for the next eight minutes. Danny. Hello. Hey. All right, let's do our two guys podcast. You ready? Yeah. I just don't understand. Bum bum blow bum is just too scary. Why would they make someone that frightening? Well, you see, bum bum actually has two, count them, two arms. No and way. Humans, yeah. And humans both have arms. Wow. Now, with me. Yeah. So the developers actually looked at the arms of every human and they copied, but just a little bit. 
so they're still a little mangled up. That's the scary part. Oh, my God. Well, but what about Bingo Bongo? Bingo Bongo. A lot of lore there. Well, my friend Matt Pat. <laughs> he just left. He, just, he said, fuck you. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. All right. Let me call him again. Um, all right, all right, no. sorry, shush, 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 shush. Uh, I have to tell you about Atlas Earth. I'm in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's no, let's let's do the two guys podcast, but now it's about like crypto investing. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I dumped about 400k in uh, Cumcoin, and I, I, I haven't gotten any returns yet, but I have to tell you, uh, if you look at the graph, and I'll just pull the graph up right here. I mean, yep. it's a total, it's a total, I mean, this is a bull flag. Like, Jamie, it's, it's pull about up the graph. To, yeah, it's, it's about to go like crazy, right? And like my, you know, my, my wife, of course, is, is frustrated about it. But the thing is like, I keep telling her it's just a mindset thing, right? Yeah. It's just, no, you need like, to shift your she mindset. She would never understand. Right. Because you're in the, like, I guess I'd call it like the trenches, you know? Right. Of I course. mean, like, you're like, like a military you know. commander in there, right. you know, you wake up. And you have to command these coins, right? right? And without that, I mean, what you know, what would happen, right? Exactly. Like, and the, just like world after would collapse. after World War One, the nations of the world got together, um, and you know, put in place treaties that ban the use of chemical weapons. So do we have to like tune out the chemical weapon of like you know those that aren't going to make it, constantly telling us, you know, like you're wrong, you shouldn't be investing in cum coin. Yeah. Uh, how are we paying for our child's college? No, like, I get do it. the dishes. I, like they don't yeah. get the hustle because when I bought Boo Boo Keys, yeah, everyone said Boo -Boo the same Keys. thing. Yeah, Boo Boo Keys went well for you, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean like I'm up like point. It was point oh 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 yep. oh 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 one two one three four, and now it's point oh 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 two three 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 five. Yeah, it's you made crazy. like thirty five dollars off that. It was an insane rush, right? And that's something that like. That, that type of bag chasing is just something that many people just, like, it doesn't motivate them, right? They're motivated by, like, the Kardashians, right? They're motivated by, like, yeah. reality TV and, like, uh, going to bars and getting drunk. But, you know, like, for me, you know, like, my, the, the you know, my high, the thing that motivates me, you know, the thing that, that I strive for is um, Reddit gold, mostly. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm getting a call. Yep. Sorry, one sec. Yeah, yeah, take your time. I gotta take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it sounds important. <laughs> <laughs> you just well, barely hear the watch my echo go. Probably something like Investor, thank you for the three dollars. I will invest in Boo Boo Keys right now. <laughs> in Boo Boo Keys right now. All right, one more. I gotta do one more. Rule of threes, baby. One more. We got to do one more. All right. Rule of threes, baby. We got to do one more. This is, um, <laughs> this is, okay. This is, we're, we're, we're going to do the two guys podcast. I'm busy talking to Atlas Earth. I'm in the metaverse. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to do the two guys podcast, but it's about like, it's about dating. Oh no, this one's too real. Yeah. I, I would go on for hours on this one. Okay. So like, in I, arc. I was like, <laughs> I was with this like girl, right? <laughs> and uh I can't even take that one seriously. Yeah, go ahead. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I just, I just you just been married so long. I just I can't even do the bit. So I was with this girl and uh Right. <clears throat> she was like a ten out of ten smoke show and she told me she was like, you know, I don't know if I wanna, you know, do anything on this date. And, you know, I think that what people don't understand is that that's not like, that's not a denial. That's a test, right? And how did I pass that test? I said, no, we will do something on this date, right? I didn't give her the option even. And then we went to McDonald's, right? Wait, wait, wait. And and you went to McDonald's? Yeah, I was able to convert what was, you know, many people would think is the end of the day to a successful McDonald's run. And, I'll t and we went halvesies. I did not purchase her fries. I was gonna say because like that's you already passed step one. Yeah. And step two, I was I you already beat me to the punch. Was yeah. make sure you don't pay for her meal. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> this this one is just sad because like yeah, this the one other one they're sucks. just like losers, but this is like well, okay, twenty percent of can people. Can I be like? The like the the girls they bring on to the yeah podcast. okay okay yeah new new dynamic <laughs> I'm gonna be the like alpha guy and you're gonna be like the sex worker I paid to go wow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like give give very slight you know um, pushback on this uh, so I was with this girl and um, she this is the thing is like she was I don't know how to describe this we were on a date together. And the waiter comes by and says, uh, what would you like to order? And as as a man with alpha tendencies, I could tell that he was testing to see if I could really capture the attention of my date. He was trying to kind of swoop in and make a move. So I, I grabbed him by the lapel and I said, listen here, you fucker, you know, I will tell you what she wants to eat, right? And Isn't I think that, that that's a little aggressive. No, you don't understand. Like a little no, you aggressive. don't know. But like you're saying that because well you're saying that now because we're in a podcast right? But if so, let me ask you this: some guy comes up to you, asks you if you want water with your meal. What are you doing? Getting water. Okay, but what are you doing after that? Right? Like that's what no one ever talks about, you know. And like so, I want to prevent that from happening, you know. And so, um, so yeah, like I grabbed him, I told him, you know, fuck off, guy. And then he kind of tripped over his his shoes, right? He fell on the ground and I was, you know, I, I, this is a great frame for me, right? I'm like, I'm looking dominant. I'm looking alpha and I lean down and I, I feel like his breath on my neck. This is, this is a little fruity. No, no, you don't understand. This is like, it's like when gorillas in the wild meet each other, it, it is like a passionate exchange, right? But it's not, it's not gay. Um, right. So then I lean in and, you know, my date, I, I can tell she wants like she wants to see if if I am kind of the alpha one in this scenario. Right. So I lean in and I give him a, a big sloppy kiss. Mm -hmm. And before I know it, we're just rolling around on the ground, like passionately making out. <laughs> right. And my date, I can tell that she's very, very attracted to me in this moment. So. Uh, we start tearing off each other's clothes, right? <laughs> you, just, you just keep <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> this one got off the rails. <laughs> yeah, you were like, "Oh, dog, I forgot I was streaming." Shit. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, yeah. it's it's noon. Bandless time. Thank you for killing here. time. Get out of here. What a nice young man. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Vicious Astral Out always makes a dramatic entrance. Oh my god. We got a Guido. <laughs> oh yes. That's that's good. That's what I like to see. God damn it, dog. Let's see how Farfa's doing. Talk to Vicious Astraloud. Show me where he is and where he lives right now. Gra Grandpa, Vicious Astraloud isn't real. He can't hurt you, okay? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude, I went live. I went live just to watch you fucking get depressy over the bandless not. I'm existing. very depressy. Dude, I lined up the bass drop on invisible and everything, man. Yeah, dude. Now you know you know what happened. Let <laughs> me get this guy in here. Oh shit. Where are these clowns? Give give me some <sighs> Yo, um where is it? <laughs> Man, yes, dude, they banned Instant Fusion and Master Duel. You believe that? That's they crazy. banned Vicious Astral Loud. That's not. <laughs> <laughs>
Doug, right, we are some, not uh, getting give me one. Some theory here. When is it? When is it? Give me okay, some actual I'll, theory I'll, here. So I'll give you the theory. The the ban list will drop once all three of us have two thousand subscribers on Twitch. Ah, that's, oh, that's exactly. Good, that's my because my one. my uncle works at Konami and he confirmed it. Two thousand subs to each of us, and the ban list will drop. So chat, y'all got to get Prime in right now. Y'all got to get Twitch Prime in. I know you hate on my spreadsheet, but tell me, explain like why the why the logic is wrong here, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, did it come out at the time the spreadsheet said? <laughs> okay, but here's the thing: the spreadsheet is simply a data center of which we can draw conclusions from and make educated guesses and hypotheses. I didn't say I knew the answer, this is, but this someone is some... could hypothetically. This is whoa, like whoa, some... you say you don't know the answer? Hold up, let me pull up the Farfa Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me read this. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, the ban list is today. Hmm. <laughs> weird. Dude, I just want this party out. This is uh this is like some Nate Silver <laughs> shit where like he'll make predictions and then when they're wrong, he'll be like, Well, they're just predictions. Uh <laughs> It's like, was the spreadsheet you know, wrong? Fact, no, I'm gonna do this because every the spreadsheet single day encompasses a range drop. of possibilities. And then when it drops, I'll be like, I told you. Okay, Farfa, Farfa, picture this. What if, what if we get another one of those ban lists that drops at like 9 p.m. Eastern? Do you remember that one? <laughs> okay, well, according to the spreadsheet, statistically, the last time that happened was April 1st, 2020. So, you know. Okay, well, you know what else happened on April 1st, 2020? Yeah, COVID. <laughs> go on. April Fool's they, Day. They update. No, no, they updated the uh, the 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 new rules of the game and stuff like that. That's when they announced oh, yeah. like the, the right, yeah. yeah. They made they made like the big changes to like trap monsters oh, yeah, or whatever was on that. April first, twenty twenty. So that was a very unique and special day. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The OCG have announced the um the illusionist type, but it's not it's not officially announced in the TCG, bro. It's not officially announced until, bro, they're going to do a, a 9 p.m. ban list and say, by the way, Illusion is coming soon. That's what they're going to do, 100%. Uh, I'm so mad. I just, yeah, like, I, I, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to know what we're playing at Philly. Like, <laughs> we're testing for yeah, it now. Exactly. When, when, yeah, me too. I really care about what I'm going to play in Philly. Yeah, when yeah, is yeah, Philly? <laughs> uh, it's the 28th. And I was like, oh, okay. there's no way. But now I'm thinking... Maybe there is there, there is, is a way. way. There is a way. Yeah. Because like all, I mean, because the, the thing is, right, happen is, is it would have to be none this week, which I think is looking more and more likely. None next week, and then none the week after. But even if it comes the week after, it wouldn't take. It wouldn't start till uh, Monday. So realistically, it's actually, just like no next week is is it. But there's no there's uh there's a, a nationals every weekend for the next three weeks. So you think yeah, they're so just they usually wait try to avoid like the season? major nationals, yeah. probably because there's a bunch of Latin American nationals this weekend. I think Brazil is this weekend, which is like the biggest one, and then there's a bunch of EU nationals this weekend. So I think it's probably maybe going to be this Friday, effective from Monday. I mean, whatever it is, I, I I'm Shout gonna feel bad if I get real good at Cash Tira and then I get my ass beat by the ban list. <laughs> Dude, I, I heckin' love Vicious Astrolabs, bro. Look how cool he is, dude. He did make Look it. how I'm cool gonna, he is. Uh, I'm gonna dude. flip a coin right now. I need uh, one of you to call Look. it. All right. The comments on this? Wait, Heads. are the comments bad? Hold up. I'm gonna flip a coin. One of you call it. Yeah. Heads. <laughs> okay. It's heads. Well done. You all, you got yourself a host. Oh, all right. Wow. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, what bye. the fuck? Later. <laughs> See ya. Okay, Joseph, you have to pass the baton to me when you're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Bro, the comments on this is literally just vicious astrolabe, vicious astrolabe, vicious astrolabe. I think people, Holy. they just fed up. They're just fucking That's fed up. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, um, all right. See it, you around, like, bud. it would be that bad if we had a date. If we, like, knew at least, like, there was a date. Bro, you know what else wouldn't be that bad if there was a date? Me getting unbanned, <laughs> bro. True, but no. True. No, it doesn't exist. It's not real. <laughs> Holy shit. We live, oh we live in a fucking simulation, bro. I'm telling you, we live on Dueling Book. You understand? You're that? gonna, it's gonna be the date of your band to come up, and you're gonna get an email from Konami, and you're gonna open it, and it's gonna say, bro, "Vicious okay. Astroloud makes a dramatic entrance." So here's what we need to talk about, right? Here's the big thing that that needs to be addressed, right? I get banned for a year. Yeah. On the same month that I get unbanned, new Unchained support. Well, that my ban is up technically. New Unchained song. support releases. And now, now that I'm a Master Duel Andy, bro, because that's all I could do, they're like, yo, 
we're releasing a, a an unchained mate, and I'm just like, they are telling me you are Gotta stuck do. on Master Duel forever. That's what they're telling me. <laughs> they say, I know that's what they're you, telling me. Master Duel forever. <laughs> that it, it's like yeah. purgatory, right? It's like <laughs> you you Literally. have to get Diamond One to get unbanned. <laughs> Bro, I've gotten Diamond 1 every season, bro. Every single one. Jesus Christ. What happens if you... What? Your your Master Duel account is tied to your ID, right? Uh, Is it? I don't know. I don't so, think So, like, is. what happens if you get to Worlds via Master Duel, but you're banned in TCG? So, I was asking myself the exact same question, and that is why I'm going to hard grind the the three days of like world's points grind for master duel to see if i can get there because i think it would make for an amazing youtube video oh, if i qualify for worlds go to worlds and they go yeah you can't come in <laughs> that would be very funny that would be that would be the best youtube video in yugi tube ever literally for the content i'm down <laughs> I'll be Jesus. like, I qualified for world championship, and Konami said no. <laughs> Ugh. Well, God, Vicious Astroloud now makes a dramatic ent entrance. Yeah, yeah, powering themselves up by destroying uh, one other monster on the field. Love that. Peace. Bye. Ugh. People will complain about no ban list today, but I'm happy Konami has finally released the first monster with canonical they-them pronouns. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like four guys in there, right? Oh, man. All right, let's do the Twitter thread. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with gay sex. True. Play the damn game, man. First time? First time in this chat? Play the game. This motherfucker thinks we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> nah, that's not happening. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we, on this channel, we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! As an abstract concept. And then we call up Danny and we do a bit. And that's the whole, the whole one. A Farfa viewer complaining about someone not playing. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to pull up in the corner a, a, a video that'll capture your attention? The basic Burning Abyss combo. Normal summon, tour guide from the underworld. Special All right, so today we are going to be talking about... Overlay, uh, and tour guide for these, Dante oh my Traveler fucking God. Burning Abyss. Activate Dante's effect. <laughs> oh, Shadow Wizard Money Gang, Biohazard 020, thank you for the 20 gifted tier 1 subs. If you didn't get one, you know what to do. It's as simple as typing dodged in chat. And guess what? You can do that even if you are a follower. That's right, an emote for followers. How kind am I? We got a Guido. A Guido! Catch graph and mill three cards for cards. Okay, so today Activate we're going to be talking. This is graph. actually this is this is the sensory video that Farfa watched while uh like developing object permanence. This is like what Farfa's mom put on his iPad. Do you all watch Family Guy funny moments during sex? All right, let's do the Twitter thread. Uh, sorry, I have to turn off alerts, folks. We got a Guido. A Guido. Uh, Dovetail Echo, thank you for the dollar. MBT is a formidable streamer, able to talk for hours without mentioning the card game, and still somehow retain viewers. That's the thing. That's why I don't play the card game. My viewers go down when I open up fucking Dueling Book or Edo or Omega. They're like, or Master Duel. They're like, we don't want to see that shit. Lenvor Rage, you saved me. I was bored. I was watching Farfa because I had nothing to do. Farfa, you said the same thing in my chat in reverse. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Emote only for the first minute because they will fucking, they will actually demonetize my video if you say fucking chat. So spam a little bit. I'm giving you permission to spam for the next 30 seconds. Dyer, come on. <laughs> you are so annoying. 
Uh, I don't know why she's VIP. I got to get rid of that. Okay. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT, back with another Twitter thread. This time featuring a bunch of Farfa viewers that got hosted to my channel. I'm sure chat for this will be very insightful. Today we're talking about treasure troves. So we've all heard stories about mythical Walmarts in the middle of Kansas that no one's entered since 1980 that are still stocking incredible Yu-Gi-Oh product from the game's genesis. I want to know what the coolest thing you found in one of these places was, and I'm beginning with myself. It isn't really a story about my own find, but Danny found an AV store next to him, like a radio shack that was somehow still open, and they had for sale the Dragon Ruler tins from 2014. He was able to pick one up for me at MSRP. Let's see what you all came up with. All right, let's fucking turn the emotes off. All right, go, 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 go. Now you can spam normally. <clears throat> Okay, I spoiled myself a little bit for this one because I saw it pop up in my notifications and I just legitimately did the ain't no way face. I have two actually. The first is genuinely hard to believe, but it's 100% true. I went to a flea market and bought a box of random cards just to have something fun to sort through at home. Inside was a get your game on. So if you're unfamiliar with this card, this was given out as a door prize to individuals who attended the world championship in 2007. It's not as rare as some collector's items in other card games. There are enough of these in circulation that they only command about a $250 to $1,000 price tag, depending on the grade. But what the hell? How do you buy a lot of cards for $10 and come away with one of the coolest pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh's history? I've thought about purchasing one of these for myself because I think it would be cool. You know, I'm the hero guy. Unfortunately, the first line of text is, you can only play this card if you were present at the 2007 Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. Damn. Redo? What I... What I redo? What I fuck up? Missed World Championship? World Championships. There you go. You just splice that on. <laughs> good, good luck, Dyer. That's a Dyer problem. I even responded, I said, sorry, I'm not trying to spoil myself, but you've got to be fucking with me. God, this is so cool. <laughs> that's like, that's like the dream. The dream is buying like, uh, we've all dreamed of having like, buying a lot of musty ass old cards and oh, what's in here? Oh, just one of the coolest, rarest pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh history of all time. It'd be like finding Tyler the Great Warrior in a binder or a Mattel Cyber Dragon in an Etsy fake. Oh, no, don't put that in. <laughs> Dyer says, don't have a pick of the one I have, but my grandma found this old DMG tin she was supposed to give me for my birthday as a kid. She forgot about it and found it when she was moving stuff in her house years later. A lot of these, like, sealed products from yesteryear are the result of absent-minded parents and grandparents purchasing something and then forgetting that they had done so. Uh, but a sealed DMG tin from, like, 06 is really sick. That's, that's a really nice find. Keep it sealed. Don't open it. Oh, Lazy found the Red Ox one. Giant Skyhawk said, Found this sealed on sale when a card shop was closing down. I paid 80 CAD for it. It's worth a lot more now. Uh, Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium is a set that... <laughs> it's hard to talk about in glowing terms. Uh, there's not a lot of good cards in it, uh, but it had a very low print run. It's the reason that cards like um, Millennium Eyes Restrict still command an unbelievable price tag, despite the fact that they're not very good. There's very little sealed of this still in the wild, so I would imagine this goes up for a long time. Oh my god, Twitter blue Andy. Just type like normal. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this one's amazing. <laughs> This one's amazing. Triple W says, hung out with some Twitter cutie in bumfuck nowhere, Indiana, left, realized I had to piss really bad, stopped at Walmart because it was the only thing open in this hick town, found five Rise of Duelist blisters eight months after the set had come out, opened them, 
pulled two nadir and a droplet. That's the greatest story of all time. Go to a Twitter hookup. It works out. Girl is cute. I actually don't. It could be a guy. I don't know this person's orientation or or if they're a guy or a girl. <coughs> Go to piss in a Walmart. Find an old set. Open them. Polls are good. And the official Walmart account responds to your tweet. What the fuck? Oh my god. I blocked the Walmart account so it's not showing up anymore. All right, Dyer, you saw it on screen for a little bit. You can use that footage for it. There you go. <laughs> Unblock them? No. I'm, re I'm making Dyer work for this one. I found a couple of these blisters with a promo card to target a few years back. Both had Plat Effect Veiler, which at the time was like $15. This card is pretty expensive. I think it's like 20 now. Uh, but there was a long period of time where this was the cheapest Effect Veiler because no one liked this rarity. And because, it came in, and because it came in a premium product, everyone who opened that product was guaranteed to have it. Uh, I've got a lot of the Plat Veiler. I really like this card. Okay, I have a confession to make. These are actually the only 10 cards I own, said Gooberry Juice. I opened one pack, which I won from a Chuck E. Cheese 10 plus years ago. I obviously peaked with pack pulls, so I might as well quit while I'm ahead. What the fuck? So, let's break this down just a bit. This is a pack from Chuck E. Cheese, but it wasn't a sealed pack. It must have been just like a loose collection of cards because these are all from different packs. We have a starter deck 09 Gilasaurus, a bunch from Labyrinth of Nightmare, some from Power of the Duelist, and then a Shonen Jump promo, the Supremacy Sun. Is that a fucking JJ reference? God, Dark Snake Syndrome is so gross. What the fuck? Found some dude last year. Man, I'm looking to find some dude now. I'm just kidding. I'm happy in my marriage. Not the actual photo, but around 2016, I found this at Walmart at the bottom of the island, I think it's called. I bought it even though I didn't have a Game Boy, though it looked cool. So if you're unfamiliar, an island usually, I, I think what they're referring to is a big... I'm trying to figure out how to not make Americans look like actual pigs. I'm trying to figure out how to make Americans not look like the most mindless consumers of all time. So in Walmart, they have a big cage in the middle of some, like, storefronts. <laughs> in Walmart, they have a big cage that they put in the middle of, like, the electronic section. There's many and many sections. And it's basically just a receptacle in which you throw a bunch of discounted shit. It's kind of like a trough... Or like a ball pit for adults who have permanent soy face. And you can basically just uh, just put your big fat hands in there and sift it around. Just shovel out a bunch of discount shit that shouldn't be on shelves. And sometimes you find fun stuff in it. It's dumpster diving. We go to stores to dumpster dive. Everywhere has this. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank, thank the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, sometimes you find really cool stuff in there that probably should have been removed from shelves, like, a long time ago. Uh, but this person found Game Boy Advance Video, Yugi vs. Joey. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. These were great. Um, I had a couple Game Boy Advance videos when I was growing up. They were the SpongeBob ones, and that's why, to this day, I can do the entire Pickles and Plankton script from memory. But, uh... It was a cartridge with, like, two episodes of a show on it. You would slap it into your little Game Boy, and it would just play it. Uh, this was at a time when, like, portable DVD players didn't really exist. Um, and, you know, we didn't have phones that could just play any clip from anything at any time. Uh, but it was on a GBA cartridge. They were also cheaper than a video game. They were, like, 10 bucks, which was great if you were a kid with, like, an allowance. Um, there was one with Shrek on it. The Shrek one is kind of fucked up, though. Because, like, Shrek is, like, Shrek is 
about three times as long as the amount of footage that they would usually put on there. Do it right now off the cuff. All right, let me let me search pickles. Let me just get it started for me. It's been maybe five years since I did this. I'll do it along to it. Here we go. Mm. Welcome to, to the Krusty Krab. My, My name is Squidward. Squidward. Can I take your order? Hmm. Mm. Uh, um. Oh, I'll have, well, I'll have a. No, no. no. Oh, oh maybe um, they'll have a. No. Mm. Oh, maybe. No. no. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Are you, a, planning, are you on planning on ordering today, today sir? sir? I'll, I'll have, have a Krabby Patty. patty. How, How original? And, and with extra, extra onions. Day. Daring today, aren't we? One Krabby Patty, extra onions. One Crying Johnny coming up! First bun? Followed... I forgot that there's a sequencing problem in this one. Alright, well, I don't have it like I used to. Uh. <laughs> I forgot you have to remember how to do it. So, okay, little bit of trivia relative to this episode. There's an order in which you assemble the Krabby Patty, but it changes. Like, the first time he does it is not the same as the other times. So I used to, uh, outside of having to memorize all of the words, also memorize the order two different ways. Lettuce, cheese, cheese, tomatoes, and bun. In, in that order. order. They even what say in that order to fuck me up. Oop! Whatever. Twelve Krabby Patties on Krabby wheat, patties buns. On wheat buns. Bun package three, 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 bun. One dozen crying cows on a farm. Hoop! Thanks, Farmer Brown. It's been a thrill serving you. Could I get some extra salt? We're all out. Could you check? No. No. Let me guess, tiny, a small salad. I'll take a double, triple, multi, deluxe on a wrap. Four by four, animal style. Put the shingles with shimmy and a squeeze. Light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. We serve food here, sir. I got it already, Squidward. <gasps> Bubble bass. Get up, Square pants. I hear talk you make a mean crabby patty. Yep. I hear talk you're kind of picky. Yep. Well then, here you go. Oh, he doesn't squeeze yet. There we go. Well, Bubble Bass, what do you think? This is pretty good. Only one thing. You forgot the pickles! And the thing that always fucked me up is at that moment when it cuts to the fish's gasp expression, uh, the lighting fucks up. Like there's a tint on the rest of the video. It's a little darker. I don't know why. It's just like an animation error that's in the final product. There is... I don't, I don't think, think so. so. You, you lose. I know they're putting on. Where are those pickles? 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 I believe you owe me two bucks. Two bucks? Your guarantee. Oh. That. Well, well can, we, can we talk about this? this? No. How about How's a discount on restroom, restroom tokens? tokens? Afraid no. not. How's or how's about a free glass of water? Not a dozen free, free glasses of water. water. I'll even put ice in it. No, no, come back. Two dollars, two dollars. No, no, no. Mr. Krabs, I know I put pickles on that Krabby Patty. That two bucks is coming out of your paycheck. Wait, wait, wait. Get back to work. We got orders waiting. All right, we got to fucking stop this. I, <laughs> we really got to stop this. Okay, video resumed. <clears throat> uh, uh. <laughs> That's going to be its own video, yeah. 
As a little autistic kid, I watched the SpongeBob movie so much that to this day, 19 years later, I can recite the whole thing. I hate to do this. I can do the same thing with Shrek. I actually, I haven't done it in like five or six years. Uh, so I don't know if I can do the same thing with Shrek. There was a time when I could do the same thing with Shrek and my cousin could also do the same thing with Shrek. And so we would go off to the playground and we would sh do just do Shrek together. We would just do Shrek in sequence. I will not do it though. We will, we, Shrek is a lot. <laughs> no, that would actually be, what does he say? A giant? Yeah, I definitely don't have Shrek in me anymore. You are the post of the guy who plays Shrek in his head? No, I mean, uh, no. <clears throat> now, ogres, oh, they are much worse. What does he say? He says, they'll make a soup from your freshly peeled skin. Anyway. So in 2019, the Soul Burner structure deck has just come out, and it's the best structure deck ever. Flying off the shelves, my game store doesn't have any left, not at Walmart or Target either. Lo and behold, I walk into a Barnes & Noble, and what do I see but ten of these suckers? This is a classic Barnes & Noble thing. Barnes & Noble, like, occasionally sells Yu-Gi-Oh! product, but when you walk in, it's like the dustiest, mustiest pre-cons ever. That said, like, finding Soul Burner is, th th that's like walking into a literal treasure chest. If you bought all ten of those, you would be a millionaire now. <clears throat> I, another Barnes and Noble. See, there it is. I bought a playmat on eBay. That's nope, not what I'm talking about. Nope, I don't need good pulse. Nope. What? <laughs> I went to a store in 2019 that mostly served sports cars. I found a 5D's card storage briefcase and a 2011 tin. Four years later, I returned and they had two more of this briefcase. Holy shit. I've never even seen this product in my life. That's really cool. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. In 2021, I found a single copy of Starter Deck Yuya near the checkout in a party city. They did not have other cards for sale. So... I'm not beating the Joseph has exactly one story uh, for every single scenario allegations today, but I have exactly one story for this. Uh, Party City does occasionally sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, they don't sell, they, they sell what they have, basically. They don't purchase any from suppliers. They, they will just sell what they come across. Here it was the Yu-Gi-Oh starter deck. When I was living in a very particular place in a very shitty apartment. There was no OTS anywhere resembling close to me, but there was a party city. So I remember I went to that party city, saw they had some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and said, oh, here's a place theoretically I could find product, right? Absolutely wrong. Do you know what product they sold at this party city? Repacks. And I'm not talking about repacks where they, like, take the packs and put them in nice little blister packaging. It was literally, like, a generic blister just pulled off of some assembly line. And just, like, 15 cards that ranged from mod play to damaged put in a little fucking slot. And so... I mean, one day I was just fiending. I just needed a fucking fix so bad. And I bought one. It was, like, $2. And I go home and I open it up. And it was like dog water commons and structure cards. And I just looked at them and I was like, I got to find a fucking OTS dog. I got to find an OTS. This is not going to work. There was one an hour away and I started going there frequently. I think that's the one that Pat, not Pack, um, that Susu and Jen Jen still go to. But um, not the party city, the OTS. I believe you owed them two bucks. Huh? Your guarantee.
Rip, rip, rip. All that. Well, can we talk about this? No. How's about a discount on restroom tokens? Afraid not. Or how's about a free glass? Okay, I'm, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> My local library growing up had the unofficial Pojo guide to early Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though I barely knew how to play the game at the time, I was obsessed with it. Eventually, I took it home and hid the book so my mom would pay for it and keep it. I think everyone has exactly one story of liking a book so much, you keep it out way past its due date from the library, and your parents have to pay for it, and they get mad at you for it. I, <laughs> I, I think this is a universal experience, but... Uh, here it is, the strategy game for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I had a similar strategy guide, an unofficial guide for Pokemon that I would carry around with me like it was like the fucking Death Note. Like it was a Horcrux. No, we can't make that joke. Um, like it was my uh, Phylactery. I had a similar strategy guide for the Pokemon trading card game that I would carry around with me like it was my fucking Phylactery. There you go. What? <laughs> Someone in my apartment building was moving out and did a garage sale, and I managed to get this for a lot less than they're going for at the time. Still my best find. Holy shit! Wait, we found Redox and Blaster and Tempest. We just need the title one. On release, Walmart had the premium gold return of the bling accidentally marked cheaper than original price. I took two display boxes up to the counter and the clerk said, this price isn't right. But hey, Merry Christmas and good luck on your polls. <laughs> oh, that's a classic Walmart memento. I remember there was like a scam going around where people would weigh their, uh, where people would go to the checkout at Walmart and weigh their, like, booster packs as produce. So they would just, like, load up on them and then be like, this is a banana, and be like, okay, that's two ninety nine a pound. And then you would just walk out with, like, a thousand packs. Um, that's, like, a really cool scam that doesn't work because there's cameras in that store. Just do it and then move. This is the worst part. You ready, Dyer? They talk to each other. You have if you're gonna do something like that, you gotta be prepared to never go into Walmart again. <laughs> I could tell you, no one watches the cameras. See, I don't know. I know that that's okay. Time for me to confess to some crime on camera. When I was destitute poor, occasionally. I would go to the Walmart and purchase canned goods. And sometimes if I move a canned good really fast and it doesn't scan, who's to say if it actually beeped or not? All right, listen. <laughs> um, I This was at a time when I was having trouble affording food. All right, so... <laughs> but, um... There was a, <laughs> I remember there was one time where I, I did this and I had probably moved like, I, I had probably moved like two total cans that I didn't pay for. And, um, uh, the, there was an additional can that I was trying to pay for that just wasn't going and it didn't go in such a way that the light went up and a cashier came over and I was like, uh oh. The cashier goes, what's the problem? And I'm like, uh, the can isn't, isn't checking out. They go, okay. And they press a button and it pulls up the footage. And I go, oh no. And you can clearly see me like fucking put an additional can in the bag. And the cashier looks at it and goes, all right, I fixed it for you. And then leaves and I go, I was like, thanks for fixing it. <laughs> oh, man.
<sighs> yeah, no, I do regret that. And if Walmart asks me to do it, I will pay them the probably $9 that I owe them. But um, those those places do communicate with each other. And I, I have heard, although I, you know, I don't know if this is true, that um, like across locations, they will basically build a uh, a case to the point where it be it beats the misdemeanor uh threshold which is like i think a thousand dollars in shoplifted shit and then they'll go after you but uh i think that might also be like pr put out by walmart to prevent you from shoplifting that's exactly what we do at my work oh okay never mind fuck me uh no Man, I always felt bad about that. I feel bad about that to this day, but like, again, I could not afford food at this time. <laughs> it was, I was shoplifting cans of beans. You know, I, I think people would understand. This is going to come up on the fucking NPRE. There's going to be an ethics portion where they're like, have you ever done crime? And I'm like, yeah, I shoplifted probably 10 total cans of beans. <laughs> The problem is I just, I care so much about Walmart that I, I really hate that I've cost them anything. We have an entire department of loss prevention managers and detectives that keep track of every motherfucker that steals from any of our stores, build up cases, and eventually pass it on to the police. I'm glad you're in chat so I can just live in fear. Do you still need beans? I'm doing well now, chat. We got beans. No, the thing that I do now is I, I try to pay it back because I buy canned goods at the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree, I love the Dollar Tree. One of my favorite places of all time. But um, uh, what I'll do is when I go to the Dollar Tree... I'll buy like an extra 40, 50 bucks of like canned goods. And then there's a food pantry that you've heard me talk about this food pantry a number of times on stream. I think I am the only one stocking this shit, but it always moves. And so I'm like, that's my, that's my act of service to assuage the guilt of stealing is I will allow someone else to not have to steal from Walmart if they want to, you know, that's their prerogative. I don't work at Walmart, but, um, yeah, I take that responsibility way too seriously too i have like spreadsheets of what people take out of the pantry and and don't i'm like okay what do people want the answer paper goods everyone wants toilet paper i'm psychotic i i definitely have a disease anyway twitter thread <laughs> found these at my local kmart back in 2015 i didn't know the value of them so i bought one and i opened it with all the ones they were selling, I could have bought a completed meta-viable deck. Wouldn't anyway, but still. Wait, did special editions used to look like this? I've just blocked it out in my memory. It used to be two packs, and then a third unrelated pack, and then Masked Beast Descarudus. Ugh. I was at the Dollar Tree, and I saw something for $10. No. This is what I saw, and I'm so happy. An extremely sketch game shop in my area had these for a buck each. Sometimes I lay awake in bed at night trying to fathom the kind of insane mind that would pay to have these slabbed. So here's what we've got. A graded 10 WGC 2001 Starter Deck Yugi Unlim Print Giant Soldier of Stone. Just so you all know, this is why we couldn't get nice cards slabbed. is because everyone and their fucking mother was sending anything they could to these dog shit grading agencies. Oh, uh, could you check out my unlimbed giant soldier of stone? Oh man, here is a 10 gem mint fissure from advancedgrading.com. I've never even heard of this place. It doesn't even fit in the slab. Adva advanced grading dot com this site no longer exists by the way 
Oh, yeah. The domain advancedgrading.com is for sale. Awesome. We, we were just scamming kids. What the fuck? It's a 10. That's also clearly not a 10, by the way. WGC. I'm Googling it. No, they're around. It is a home grading shop. It gives out 10s like nobody's business. It's likely to be a PSA 7-8, and even that's pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's just chilling in the slab. It's not even remotely close. <laughs> But this one's a nine. What do you have to do to get a nine from advancedgaming.com? You turn on the back and there's it's just a chunk missing from it. <laughs> oh, my mistake. This isn't advancedgaming.com. This is advanced. Now we gotta we gotta go to one of these. We gotta find one of these like dog shit grading agencies and send them a bunch of Celtic Guardians. Yo, wait, I have like three of these. That's crazy. Well, good news, they're worth nothing. Mm. Found Walmart selling these 5Ds tins in 2019 and 2020. So uh, while this is cool, it's actually not particularly uncommon, especially before the like COVID sealed product purchasing boom. Uh, you could frequently find Duelist Pack tins at Targets and Walmarts. Why? Because those shits did not move. Duelist pack tins, you were basically buying the tin. The individual packs were terrible nine times out of ten. I mean, and who's going to be excited about this? Look at this. Duelist pack collection. You say, and then who are these assholes? I, I have no idea who these cards are. That one guy is one. You can tell because of his face. It's a one. But to be honest, I do have a couple of these tins. I think I have like a Jaden uh, Yuki one. Uh, and I did like them growing up. It was a cool place to hold cards and like, oh, the characters from the show were on it. Um, honestly, I was just a sucker for tins growing up. I just liked the physical tin. Um, it felt like a very adult way to hold playing cards. <clears throat> was clearing out my dad's storage unit and found these. Well, congratulations, your father is now a millionaire. Oh my god. Whoa. Holy shit. You legitimately found, like, thousands of dollars of sealed product here. I... Oh my god. Dad is Ruxin. <laughs> Um, hmm. I found 15 copies of Droll and Lockbird for a dollar each at a store that didn't price check back when it was $14 a piece and rising. I dropped the ball immediately. I told the store's owner and, uh, cause we were friends. So something similar happened to me, uh, when I moved, sorry, something similar happened to me when I returned to my hometown after college to like visit my parents. Uh, my OTS had been like changed hands four times and no longer really sold Yu-Gi-Oh product, but they had some leftover from the previous owners and they were like, do you want to ruffle through it and, you know, pick out stuff? They had it sorted into like dollar sections, right? And so I ruffled through it and I found a bunch of shit like Droll and Lockbird that was way more expensive than they had marked. And I was like, oh, cool. I can buy this, get it off their hands and I can make a pretty sick profit. So I do it. I get up there and they're like, yeah, all right. Sounds good. And I'm like, so this is like 10 bucks. He goes, well, let me check TCG player first. And I was like what and he was like yeah sometimes these are actually worth way less than what we have them marked on i'd love to save you some money and i was like okay um actually i don't want them Not a very expensive card, but when i was very young my dad randomly received a shadow of infinity first ed revile in the mail What This is like if the Unabomber was Kaiba. 
<laughs> so it's a big ticking package and you open it up and it's just the seal of Ori Kalkos. At around 2012, I was in my local Major. I don't know this store. And they had this really odd special edition box that contained three different OG tournament packs. What? Oh. Okay. Michigan Walmart. I see. This happened recently. Going through storage with my girlfriend and her mother found a bucket of unopened McDonald's toys including these so i had a grandmother who also collected unopened mcdonald's toys but these are like the only ones that probably would have actually held their value if the packs are with them and they're undamaged that's that's pretty sick not gonna lie maybe there's cosmo queen in there you know oh no these are the gx ones maybe there's a mud ball man oh I gotta go turn off the light. Sorry, chat. It's flickering. Can you fucking change the light bulb in this? This house's wiring is so fucked. After subathon, we'll get an electrician in here. <clears throat> Isn't Frog the Jam in one of those? Kill him. Kill him. You mean Slime Toad, comrade. Back in the day, our local game shop had these OCG-exclusive structure decks. None of them contained anything good except for Kaiba, which had Crush Card, Shrink, Vampire Lord, and Cyberstein. Oh, these are cool to pick up. During my stay in Italy, I found a small GameStop in the mall. This is the only DS game that emulation hasn't perfected. What a sick find! Wow! Yo, and they have an ad for Yu-Gi-Oh! Online! Free download! Wow! Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. That's so sick. Picked this up recently from a local card store for a retail price. <laughs> oh my god. That's so sick. I love I love that they used they were like I love that they were scrambling to figure out what would sell this dog shit structure deck and they were like there's new monsters in it. <laughs> uh yeah, dog, that every structure has new monsters in it. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. I came across this weird product. <sighs> Sorry. Went to a vintage stock. Oh, love vintage stock. It's like um Goodwill, but for like upscale hipsters. I I realize that makes it sound like I actually hate vintage stock. Listen, a bad Goodwill is still a Goodwill. Took a quick look and saw two games that caught my eye. Minish Cap and Stairway to the Destined Duel. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, fuck. It still has the cards in it? Oh, that's sick. <clears throat> My OTS randomly one day started having Darkness Neostorm special editions in 2022. Nothing wrong with them. They look a little smaller than usual, and they were going for half the price. What? Is this like the international edition of the special edition? People saying 150 It's probably not American dollars, you dumbasses. 
Spanish. No, yeah, it's it's European. Neo Tormenta Oscura. Yeah, that's that's uh that's French. Hmm. Can't find any pictures of it online, but I remember finding a limited edition Dark Paladin in a third-party blister pack at my local Models Sporting Goods. Huh. <clears throat> This is funny, but imagine finding, like, old packs in the wild and it's fucking <laughs> Star Pack Utopia. <laughs> Sorry. This, found in Walmart in 2017. Oh, shit. Dragons Collide. This is, like, what, a 2012 structure? However, the rule book included talked about Link Summoning. Huh? Oh, this deck had a reprint run. Okay, bada bing. We figured it out. I didn't know it had a reprint run. That's crazy. <clears throat> Last summer, I found these sleeves from the 5Ds era in my LGS. Oh my god! Whoa, what the fuck? What are these from? Yo. It's crazy. I um I really only started playing competitively like uh to a get to nationals every year level uh in like 2016. Um finding WCQ sleeves from before then is a nightmare. During COVID, my roommate and I would just go buy sealed whenever we could find it. You and everybody else found one of these bad boys in Target hidden under the bottom shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, this type of shit was constantly just like hidden places. In fact, these, this tin specifically was so hard to get rid of. Those mega tins were dog water. Back in 2013, I found a Target selling the original Yugi starter deck from 2002 on store shelves for ten dollars. The catch, it's in Spanish. Uh, I don't really think there's a catch. The catch here is um, uh, someone else didn't get to it first. That's crazy. Holy fuck. Found these 2013 blue eye structures at Walmart a few months ago. Uh, who's gonna tell him? Yeah, those are not from 2013. They are from 20. 40. They have reprinted this structure, I think, 40 times. They Like, every time they do a structure run reprint, they're like, let's do the Blue Eyes one again. People keep buying it. People are still like, oh my god, Blue Eyes, that's nuts. They've done it at least five times, yeah. In 2007, I found my brother hunched over several packs inside of a Walmart. Uh, when the employee came by and said, you can't do that, my brother said, it's okay. I just wanted to see what was inside. <laughs> oh, man. Twenty fourteen, when I was in the period where I graduated from college but was still looking for my first job, I made some income flipping Yu-Gi-Oh cards on eBay. Picked this up from a flea market in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. This was fifteen dollars total. Okay, already off to a good start given the ulti bamboo shoot. Uh those are collectors tin cyber dragons. They're worth like thirty apiece now. There's an ulti Ryza, like a fucking extremely expensive it's a it's an ulti first Ryza, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars. Uh, okay, that Thunder King's seen better days, but that Dandelion hasn't. That's looking real good. Oh, good. There's more. 
Oh wow, that's a that's an ulti Stardust. Wow, that's that's an ulti Herald of Perfection. Oh my God, that is an ulti Herald of Perfection in the toilet, uh, in San Bernardino. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that's an ulti Kofi Super Poly. That's an ulti Miracle Fusion. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. There's more. Okay, well, you know, Hero Blast ain't doing nothing. That's a Hobby League Torrential. Oh, man. Oh, these are so nice. Holy fuck. Oh, man. Th these are... This is the radioactive rarity alias. It's destroyed his camera permanently. Oh, my God. That's an ulti titanial. Oh, my God. It should have been me, man. It should have been me. It should have been me! It should have been me! These had to be stolen. There's just no way these weren't stolen, right? I'm not saying this guy stole them. I'm saying whoever was selling them to him at the flea market. Or someone's mom, yeah. Wow. At a Reno anime convention in 2018, I bought the OCG version of the Kaiba structure deck. It is fun to uh, to go to anime conventions and they have shit like this. I mean, that would be a great thing. To Look at that. It's got the XYZ dragon as a cover card. That's so funny. Oh, the rest is just text. I'm telling you, these Duelist Pack tins. This one's kind of cool, though. This would be really cool to hold Edison shit in. Quick Draw, Junk Archer, Stardust. That's neat. <laughs> Found a starter deck 5Ds in a corner of a random Walmart in Pennsylvania when I was interning near Pittsburgh in 2019. Not first ed and beat up when I found it, but I had to buy it. I'm sorry. This is the most perfect Yu-Gi-Oh product you could ever find. An Unlim Run 5Ds starter deck where the front card is completely obscured by an extreme value new low price sticker. That's so... What is going on in the corner here? Six plus years. Essential. This is beautiful. Wow. Mike Wazowski is behind this, yeah. Back in 2016, I was in a local Target looking for something completely unrelated. I figured I would check out the TCG aisle that's usually next to checkout, and lo and behold, I found these beauties. Bought them for 10 bucks a blister. What the fuck? These are the, uh, Kaiba? Pot of Greed, right? Is that what it's from? Joey's World. One of the worlds. Duelist Pack Kaiba Ultis. See, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, so, like, these aren't insanely expensive. They were from, like, a pre-con where, like, you were guaranteed to get them. Uh, but... Duelist Pack Kaiba? Huh? Set is Kaiba. Let's just fucking look it up before I say a bunch of shit I don't know anything about. No, Joey's World is the secret. It is a Kaiba Ultimate. Holy shit. All right, yeah, let's go back. Yeah, these are ultimate rares from Duelist Pack Kaiba. Um, <laughs> that pot of greed looks real good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it is not worth $10. It is worth a lot more than $10. Why are you allowed to do this? You should not be allowed to do this. The print says, Duelist Pack Kaiba DPKB. You should not be allowed to post a pot of greed with a different fucking set code 
in this listing. Fuck this seller. Fuck this seller. There's like 30 of them doing this. I got scammed by one of these. That's the only purpose they're there is to scam people. They've been there for like two years. And every time I see them, I'm like, why? Why are they allowed on there? What's crazy is the TCG player knows to exclude them in pricing. Yeah, the mass entry doesn't get those ones. Why let them sell on the website? <clears throat> or if you want to let them sell on the website, make a listing for that printing. Remember, Mr. Squidward, the money is always right. There's no money in this. TCG player is not making a meaningful amount of cash off this. I'm going to be being completely honest with you here. TCG player is a spider search engine, right? So if this person sells a unlimited parallel rare Korean access code, for a third of the price of a normal access code, TCG player maybe gets a dollar off that sale. You got to imagine maybe 10 people a day fuck this up. And the cost is the website is taken less seriously. It is less alluring to investors. Like, it's got to be a loss. I don't know. Also the unlim run. Awesome. Near Mint first ed. Unlimited. Awesome. You know what it might be? It might be that they're just making the accounts too fast. That they're just making the accounts too fast. Card market has this too. How? How do these places not know how to stop it? All right. They get banned. I imagine they get banned on TCG player too. They just run it back. Definitely a few years back when I found a retro pack one three pack box at a locals for $32. I got a super and a secret rare and also these. What the fuck are these? This has to be a repack. I refuse to believe they came like this. This is too perfect. Wow. NFC. They have to be, right? I found a secret ancient fairy dragon on the ground in a forest while on vacation in Germany. <laughs> oh, there's your friend. Sadie, you want to go say hi to your friend? Is your friend
Sorry about that, chat. Sadie's good friends with the mailman. Went to a toy store with my wife last year. The cashier decided to ring this guy up for $3. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Boom. While not very rare, in 2018, a game store which was predominantly magic-based let me look through their one box of Yu-Gi-Oh! bulk, found ulties and a really good condition ulti Bubble Man and Miracle Fusion. I asked how much, they said, just take it, no one wants them here. You got it. <laughs> Everyone is going to say cap, but someone once told me 10k bulk cards and it was almost entirely worthless until I found one of these. Uh, what? We would have to see a picture of the one you got, sir, because you might still be holding an L. Which stamp? Which stamp? Uh, looks good. Looks, uh, looks good. Uh, I gotta pee real quick. Enjoy the dulcet. All right. Brrr. Had a mutual recently find this in Mexico for $100. This is a $500 Japanese import plush. I imagine it just sat on the shelf for eight years while no one could afford it, and they never repriced the item. That's a beautiful, beautiful little plushie. Back in 2015, I found a near-mint DDS Dark Magician at the Troll and Toad booth at New York Comic Con for $5. Huh? <laughs> they should have known better, right? My brother found this at a massive flea market across the country for around five bucks. I asked him if he could potentially find a playmat for me, and he pulled this out of the hat. The 2011 WCQ mat. This is... No, that's incredible. Found these in my uncle's basement last year. He bought them for another Christmas gift they forgot to give. Oh my God. These are incredible. So I had this Exodia growing up um, and it sucked. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, those uh, booster packs are probably not worth anything because they're, you know, resealed. Um, just Lucy's. But I've never even seen the Xyz Dragon Cannon toy. That's really sick. These in box will probably fetch a pretty penny, I will be honest. When I was 2012 and looking around in the toy section, I found this under on all the shelves. The kid, <laughs> some kid was hiding it for next time. They should have hit it better. <laughs> I no shit found a box of sealed Crossroads of Chaos for half off in 2016 at the Walmart on Dallas Highway in Marietta, Georgia. I just about shit a brick. I was broke at the time, so I hid the box and then forgot where I hid it. Directions to Walmart in Marietta, Georgia. Ooh. 
It's only a 10 hour drive chat. It's the modern day one piece. <laughs> I hit it all in one Walmart. I don't really remember where I hit it in that Walmart. If someone if someone goes to this Walmart and finds it, I don't know. What what I will I will gift 50 subs to chat, but there's no way. Um it, it was 8 years ago. I'm sure someone has cleaned it up by now. Um, when skill drain lost arts were giving, when skill drain lost arts were being given out, my local shipment of lost arts were a bit less up to standard. I asked them to give me the most fucked up one out of the bunch, and they gave me this. What? So I know what you're all thinking. Obviously, the big shock is the giant serrated slice taken out of the middle there. But look at the corner. They fucked this one up twice. Came across Generation Force blisters in a local card store in 2019. Of course, I bought them and immediately ruined any value they might have had by cracking them. I found one of the AF D tins at a Kmart in 2012. What? That, what? That's like when it came out. <laughs> That's like two years later. Boxes upon boxes of cards at a flea market that appear to have been cut out of the board. <laughs> no, come on. Why would you do that? Oh. Hmm. Read the last one. Why? It's a good ending bit. <laughs> sure. Ross had tins one time. Don't remember what it was or when, but they were there. What do you want me to do with that information? Do you seriously think that's going to make it into the video? Okay, there you go. <clears throat> I gotta say, I was proud of my find. <laughs> I gotta say, I was proud of Danny's find, but seeing what you all unearthed in old Kmart is <laughs> really making me think that I need to make my way down to the local thrift shore and start looking underneath the shelves. I was proud of my find, but after seeing what you all posted, maybe I need to go down to Goodwill and start looking underneath the shelves. Who's up for the road trip to Georgia, by the way? There we go. This was fun. This was a good one. Wow, I was... I'm shocked. We gotta... Okay, I... The Twitter threads obviously started as a mechanism by which I could just sort of tell stories about Yu-Gi-Oh's lore. But I think I do need to start including ones that are about you tell me your stories with Yu-Gi-Oh. Because people will talk about that shit all day. This was... That was enjoyable. Holy shit. Usually it's... <clears throat> all right, Dyer. Whoopsh. Whoopsh. Oh, did the ban list come out 17 minutes ago? Let's check. No. We're really not going to get this. That's incredible. Um, okay, we'll do uh we'll do Jank Bank Wednesday, but that's fine. Uh just a quick reminder, please. Please, 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 please. Please give me your Jank Banks. You all did not give me very good Jank Banks. <laughs> Uh, I just need TCG exclusive archetypes. That's all I'm asking. 
decks built around TCG exclusive archetypes. We already have a lot of Goaty. We already have a lot of War Rock. Get, get creative here, folks. There's one of these that I really like. I'll see if I pull it up. It's like Libromancer playing the new Synet stuff. I think it's very funny, but... I gave you a Materiactor one. Is Materiactor a TCG exclusive? No. It is? Ooh. My favorite deck... Okay, so, like, this one, for instance. Was Koakai Mairu a TCG exclusive? There's no way, right? No. Yes? No. No. What's the TCG part of this? They're just posting. Yes, it was. Yes. No. You all are so smart. Mogel, I'm so sorry. I can't play this. They haven't coded these cards in for some reason. The other thing is I want to I want to give some attention to it. Like I want to spend some time working on it. Gate Guardian, Gate Guardian Gate Guardian TCG exclusive. I thought it was just World Premiere. <clears throat> That's the same thing. No, I thought that we both got the cards in Maze of Memories at the same time. Wasn't it a simultaneous release set? No. What am I, stupid? This was a TCG exclusive set? I thought that the TCG and the OCG got this at the exact same time. I was so excited for that. God damn it. <laughs> the deck was, it was full of imports. Well, yeah, it's what? 67 card set. So I thought that in OCG, it was a 60 card set because they usually do 60s, right? And then R7 were just the imports. Maybe I'm dumb as fuck. Maybe I'm just very stupid. All right. Yeah, sadly, no roulette today. I hate to I hate to leave you all here, you know. Not often that I've got 2100 people watching at the end of a stream, but that's usually cuz I'm playing Isaac. Yeah, Doug's going to take a rest day, so we're probably going to do Jank Bank and Roulette tomorrow. Then we'll play a little Syac. Did you do the tag duel? We were going to do the tag duel today, but it's not out. I thought that it was out. It's not. My bad. Play some Isaac. Not on Tuesday. Um, I appreciate you all being here. I'm going to throw you all over to Coder. Peace.